Wow. Hello, everybody. There's not gonna be any pre-stream music on on this intro type thing. The guy uh, apparently is is fighting with uh, with insects. They call me Disappa. Here it is. Here's the man, the myth, the legend. I don't know how it looks on screen. It's acceptable, I guess. All right. This is gonna be just like some pre-stream and some other stuff. Cause guess what? The fucking soulmate betrayed me. Betrayal! Betrayal! Because I was having a chill interactive day. I made some, uh... What is this? This is, um... Mac and cheese. <laughs> I forgot the name. And I was gonna chill and interact with the soulmate. And she decided to go out and have fun with a friend of hers. What a betraying bitch. So I'm gonna sit here and watch fucking Phil, because otherwise, like, what am I gonna do? Just play games and sit around? And I just remember, dude, this is, it's the guy. Um, um, restreaming him, I guess. Uh, all sorry for the delay. Today's stream, I'm battling some insects. So, uh, yeah, you, you're gonna hear plenty of it. You're gonna hear plenty of it. Of the, the insect business. The guy also did not announce his stream, which is great. He loves uh, doing that because he's lazy, obviously. So let's get to it and get through some stuff real quick that we have. I think there's a new ant leap. Um, the fuck. The new ant leap unrecorded segment. All right. I think there's probably like five people watching right now, so I guess we can get started. Uh, maybe they had a pig roach. This is seven minutes, and he he made a massive begging tweet. Let's see it here while while I have the uh, the Twitter machine open. Actually, the knitter machine open. All right, all right. Let me just like fix some of the shit on the on the layout so it doesn't look completely amateurish, even though it's not my job. Anyways, what do we got here? Fucking pig. What did he say? Oh yeah. We are having a great chill time on the Skyrim stream tonight. Still an hour left and it looks like we'll conclude the Dark Brotherhood questline. However, support is the slowest it's ever been this entire year. So if you can, please swing by and support. Uh, where is DDM? D DDM is not live because DSP is not live. And DSP is not live because he is fighting insects, as you can see from this tweet. I was battling some insect, so hopefully he will survive. I don't know. I know most people don't don't hope about that, but otherwise you want to have a podcast. Oh, I love my new build. This, 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 this fucking self masturbating tweets of Elden Ring. It's it's probably like ninety percent of the reason why I can't fucking watch him talk about Elden Ring. It's just. All of the Elden Ring discussion is based around him jerking himself off and being like, man, my fucking build, man, my fucking weapon, my progression. I was watching these people, but they're not as entertaining as me. They're fucking terrible and trash, but they're popular and they make a lot more money. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, let's see this this unrecorded thing. I haven't seen it. I don't know anything he's done yesterday because yesterday was just like that. Whatever, the day that existed. So oh, yeah. All right, I guess I give up on this one. What is this? Oh, of course we're gonna beg wildly in Skyrim. We'll save for now. Oh, I love we'll it. We'll save and then we'll continue with the Dark Brotherhood quest line. I'm, All right. You're quite welcome here. All right, guys, I have to pee. If you could give me oh, a nice moment pee break. to run to the bathroom next door, pee and wash my hands. And when we come back, we'll continue on. I'll be, I'll literally be right back. I'm just gonna mute the mic and go pee. Be right back. Oh yeah, I know the the fucking buzzwords, man. The buzzwords is infuriating. Chill, fun, fun, chill, fun, chill, interactive, fun, chill. Thanks for funning and chilling with me. Thanks for interacting and chilling and funning with me. Oh look what I got today. Today I got a special thing. We can have some weird, stupid gimmick, and I'm gonna press it, and it does. The fuck it does a different light it has a bunch of lights i don't know how i can use this but it's a thing that i have see very nice 
Okay, uh, on to the begging. Uh, hello everybody, today it wasn't an announced stream and I didn't plan on having it, but I am. And uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the pre-stream, then maybe some clips, and then that's it. Walk it. Alright. So he went to the break. Fantastic. He's probably gonna come back and immediately beg. <laughs> this is so chill. I'm chilling my, my face off right now. This is so chill. And the Skyrim music is playing. This guy has no idea of like tone. Because this is 100% comedic. Dude has like gone to take a piss and the Skyrim music is playing. Uh, but big ups everybody that uh, membership renewed. I can see 18 hours ago. Big ups Almighty Tavin. Big ups Eclectic Academic. And uh, people that subscribed, I can also see those. Hit. Big ups. I can see your name and address. <laughs> I have your IP. I have your name. I have your address. Hey, how long is this for real? How long did he piss? This is unrecorded, which means it's okay. It's allowed. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I can do daily rap. Is it YouTube that cab? Okay, it's funny because, you know, you notice that when... Uh... It's funny. When I leave, immediately the troll still, starts doing stuff. Still have a, hasn't announced his stream. Still. Still hasn't announced it. This guy fucking sucks. Where is the stream, Philip? Oh, here it is. It's just a scrub stream that nobody cares about. It got eight likes. Okay, we're letting the souls out. Let's let's finish with this before he let all the souls out. He's doing stupid shit, so I'm just going to go ahead and ban him. And I need to get his chat up and running. Yeah, let's see here. <coughs> oh, and the shitheads are here, okay? As we take care of his <laughs> he sits down and first thing he does is ban people. What a <coughs> fucking joke. Because his chat, bro, there was this thing I, I, I stole from somebody on Kiwi Farms or Twitter or whatever. Look at this fucking shit. Get a load of this. Kevin fucking Bernstein, the legend, the Yo. epic guy who was almost the doxxed or whatever, some bullshit with only iced coffee. Look at what he says. It's anonymous because I don't want it showing me as the guy using the company card. Uses fucking company cards to give money to DSP. What a fucking dumb, dumb individual. And this also was pretty dumb as well. This is a bunch of like weird screeching by trolls. The X bottle thing. This was mega cringe. I don't know anything about any of those people, but I listened to it and I cringe. Like inside out cringe it was bizarre. Okay, this is still going on, and let's go with this. We also got the guy who's trying to make a spin-off of Kevin's name, so we'll get rid of him. Spin-off of Kevin's name. Get rid of him. Yeah, Kevin? <laughs> is Kevin a spin-off of Kevin? Who is fucking texting me? Stop texting okay, me. Good. I think I got rid of them all now. We got rid of them all now. What's up, Sucker Surprise? Good yeah, evening. DSP got bugs in his house. It got fucking bugs. It's a bug. But he's going to tell us all about it right hey, now. Hey, guys. We're an hour in the Skyrim tonight. Right now. Support is almost non-existent when it comes to both tips and Super Chats. Support is non-existent. Well, one new member. Legit. He, dude is sitting at 10 bucks. It's hilarious. <laughs> How much did he make in total? I think he made like 40 or 30. Hey. We, um, we need to have a state of the stream address. Uh, I am going to tweet. And I am going to post up on, on the community tab of the channel. I don't know if anyone else is going to come. Oh, yeah. Uh, he begged the on the community really tab. Do enjoy the Skyrim stuff. He begged on the community tab, then deleted it. Because I think that shit might be TOS. I don't know what is TO TOS at this point. Obviously, restreaming him is TOS. But care, obviously. And you like the variety streaming if you could support tonight that would be community charming. tab community tab because now it's gone right it, it's not there anymore it's not there it's just the other fucking shilling and nonsense oh and eight minutes ago why would you say this okay everyone now we're live here and uh dealing with bugs which is why i'm late and he's gonna blame it on somebody else what if he has bugs because he had too much trash what about the trash? What if they actually have massive amounts of trash in that household? Then we got 13 hours ago, garbage. 16 hours ago, garbage. A day ago, private video. Suspicious. 
uh, 16 hours ago, garbage. Then we go a day ago, recycled garbage, because this, this is the same shit. Oh my god, this is the worst. This is the worst community tab. Legit terrible. Yeah, they have actual bugs. That's why he was late to stream, because he was fighting for his fucking life, like R. Kelly. Mendes, as you can see how, how slow things are right now, I really would appreciate the help. Uh, let me go ahead and send it out. <laughs> will never not, not make me laugh when he begs aggressively like this. <laughs> a little like a 40-year-old begging me for tips. Crash everything here. Okay. By the way, this... Uh, this feature of YouTube that makes every stream be different instead of one stream, I love it. I know he hates it, but I love it. Because I like giving different styles to my different streams and having like a separate thumbnail and everything. And this dude wants every stream to be exactly the same. It's so fucking embarrassing. But still nothing happening here outside of like a so landmark did a dollar thing. Jibby says, produce more salt. Your stream is boring. I need more raw material. Yeah, you're salt. boring. I'm not going to insult anyone. The... I'm not someone who insults people unless they insult me first. Really? What about developers? Any developer ever called you an asshole and told you to go kill yourself? Thank you, Salt Miner, for the super chat, though. I appreciate the super chat. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go. And back to business. Kevin did a super chat. He smashed the like button. <laughs> Kevin, if he did it with the company card. Kevin. Important goal. The like goal is Fucking important. The Kevin. like goal absolutely is important. So if you guys enjoy the stream, please do quick like. Okay? The like Thank goal. You. He didn't even hit the like goal. And I think somebody shit on him in his own uh, comments. Because I saw this on Kiwi Farms. Not that I lurk DSP fucking comments. Um, Let me see what we got. Was it 88? Was it 87? Oh no. Here, All we got is a wow. Because it's a wow-tastic episode. And here we got, this is one of your best playthroughs from the 500k. Wow. I am flattered-ish. Uh, the Daily Wrap, let's get through it. Good evening, everyone. Welcome Good to evening. the Daily Wrap for Thursday. Stupid bastard. April 2022. Great streaming. <laughs> wait, wait, today. wait. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. This is where, he, where somebody's uh, shitting down his throat. This is it. Uh, this is it. Get a load of this. I'll, I'll see if I can do a TTS to it because it's very important. Uh, copy more actions. Read aloud. Let's see if that's going to work. You can take this criticism, but last night Skyrim's stream was bad. Beautiful. The game is getting stale. Your commentary of just reading the dialogue is also getting stale. The stream chat is unruly. But what really derailed the stream was you banning everyone for any little thing you thought was a slight. <laughs> right on, TTS There's lady. There's a reason why the stream didn't hit your 100 like goal. As far as the rest of your late streams being slow lately. When you play Elden Ring during the day and then play Skyrim at night, it's like you're playing the same game the entire day to casuals. And Skyrim is far too old and long to keep people's attention for an extended amount of time. Kirby is a kid's game, and not many kids are going to be up to watch your late streams. I suggest putting more variety in your late streams, get some more moderators, let the chat flow unless something super disrespectful is said, and stop interrupting the stream with random breaks or addressing drama slash trolls that you keep saying you don't care about but do. Thanks for reading. <laughs> oh, big ups, uh, TTS lady. I I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use her from now on. I love this way of reading stuff. And this got 45 likes, and the actual video got 14. <laughs> this ratioed fill. So very fucking funny. And and I, I would assume this is mega complaining in this one. And uh, yeah, mostly because it says, please support late streams, which is complaining. So let's get into it. First of all, thank goodness. Pre-stream podcast went down without a hitch. No technical. Oh, yeah. Pre-stream. By the way, he is now writing an email. Hey, all, I'm writing an email. and I'll be on stream shortly. Bum. Why you got to be writing emails on company time? Why? Anyways, so let's get to the daily fucking wrap yeah, it up. I don't know what caused them. Wrap that shit up. Thank God that we didn't have any today. That was a good thing. 
uh, pre-stream podcast, talked only a little bit very briefly about gaming news, but the real big announcement this morning, which I'll just summarize for you right now, I am going to be doing a formal, full-length, in-depth review. In-depth, by the way. No, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be anything like you think. It's going to be the traditional DSP sits there and talks about it with gameplay on the screen. No editing, no writing, not even bullet points. It's going to be the usual freestyle. And if you've seen this guy, he's freestyle. He can freestyle for like an hour straight and talk about back in the day what happened. Nowadays, what's happening in the future, what's going to happen. We're going to talk about somebody in the store who told them that Dark Souls was really hard like 15 years ago. And then he beat Dark Souls and some shit. It's going to be terrible. So this don't bite. This is terrible uh advertisement marketing whatever it is it's gonna be trash once i complete my he's gonna do reviews people put out even angry joe put his review out already and gave it a 10 out of 10. even angry joe is out already and the dude sits on it because he can't just play the game and release it in like a day and dudes with like six seven eight hour videos and this fucking moron is gonna ramble to the camera about elden ring elden ring elden ring for an hour and 20 minutes straight and publish it as a formal review. Let's see how's that gonna happen. Playthrough of it later this month. Okay, and I haven't done any real formal reviews in a very long time. Formal reviews. So there what you go. What was have. formal reviews? One takes and no script and barely any editing? I think people were pretty excited about that. Yeah, no, no, I don't know people. Very, very I don't know people who watch DSP. I know creatures. I'm in hearing my full I am one thoughts on the subject i don't know about so, people we had q a on the pre-stream so if you didn't uh see the pre-stream podcast lots of open q a oh yeah we had a q a okay. phenomenal then when we started with elden ring today <clears throat> excuse the me q a changed my life by the way i didn't, it was pretty didn't good see it classic didn't see it uh we started off in the northeastern part of the map uh exploring all the frozen you know wintry areas many optional boss fights uh were were undertaken Oh yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what's gonna happen. A Joseph Anderson guy. I've watched his videos. I know the type of style he does. And DSP is just gonna do like a an hour fucking rant nonsense shit, like the way that he does stuff. So yeah. I like the new build that I have. It's the Blasphemous Blade. That's the name of the sword I'm using. Oh, the Plus Blasphemous. Why am I even listening to this? Go beg and me for money. Fun, although admittedly, what I'm noticing is oh we're nice. Streams, we're getting a lot more trolls than the daytime streams. And I think the reason is because. Um, we don't have a lot of moderators on late streams, and so... No, you should say, what you should say, uh, as a bad cult leader that you are, is more trolls show up to make fun of you for not hitting the tips goal. Link it like that. Link not hitting the tips goal to the trolls. And then that's gonna unite the stupid pay pigs against somebody. You always gotta have an enemy. And the trolls, it's like... The Trolls is like a, a villain in a TV show that you've beat before and it, he keeps coming back, but then like next time his face is like burned away from your last encounter or his fucking hands are cut off or some shit. It, it's like that. You gotta make him look interesting and seem interesting, even though it's the same trolling every time. People think they can get away with stuff. He, he's not live yet. He's been streaming in a sec. Stupid impersonator accounts and stupid dummy, impersonator dummy accounts account. and say sneak disses and dumb shit. Well, sneak disses. So no, DSP, they don't need to sneak diss you. They straight up diss you. And you got nothing to say because you're a little bit. Someone who's rebroadcasting the late streams and they try to go in there to get noticed. To get, to get, oh, look, I got a shout out Phil on the late stream. Look, I got Phil to say to talk about something stupid on the late stream. You know, dumb shit like that. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's not really been a, a trend since Tevin used to do it. And then even Tevin, I think, realized it was dumb because then people would go in and tip DSP a dollar to ask him this thing that Tevin asked them. So, yeah, yeah. it's it's not really a thing, but he's he's just making it up. It's all right. It's all right. That being said, um, it was still a great stream. All right. Support on the. Uh, Elden Ring stream was decent. We hit the tier two tips goal, which I was happy wow. about. We actually wore a hat during the stream. Like a hundred dollars um, more than you deserve. That's pretty incredible. Skyrim was pretty slow. All right, even even right. sending out a tweet telling everyone that I it was had incredibly to send slow. out a tweet. Uh, we didn't even hit the tier one goal. All right, and just uh, you guys know me. I'm transparent. Here's my concern. Last week, okay. I did really good on my birthday marathon, and then everything slowed down for three four days in a row. It sucked. Okay. So far this week. Things have not been terrible, but they're not great either. Uh, when I set up my tips goals on streams, just for a reason, 
Now, obviously, no, I don't what? need to max out on my tip skulls every single stream. You but would if like I'm to? only hitting tier two on one stream and I'm not even hitting tier one on the next, that's a bad day. Okay. Just being honest. For All my right. business, that's. What overall, are you going to do, though? Well, you, you know what I was thinking before he starts live? This is a very important point. Real fast. Remember when somebody asked him, DSP, what quality of yours would you like to improve? He couldn't think of one. Not one. Not one. Not one. He couldn't think of one. What he said is, oh, you guys decide. So anyways, let's go back to the, the live bullshit. Um, so welcome to the pre-stream podcast, everyone. First of all, if you're watching live, I apologize. Yes, I'm late again. Second time in a week. I don't like being late. You guys late to like his own bedroom. I hear too. He's late to his own playroom. It's not even a fucking office. He's late. Can't get there on time. Can't get up the stairs on time. And set and we can. It's, we are basically, uh, you know, uncertain. Okay. I'm here. We're here. Let's do it for nice pre stream. We're going to have a fun stream of Star Wars, Lego Star Wars today. Uh, What's and he acting like he, he got like cancer or today, something? Right? We've got a lot of stuff on the agenda. He's mega right? depressive. We'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, I'm late today for multiple reasons. First of all, I am still stressed out about, of all things, taxes. I know I haven't really what? talked about it recently, but it's still <laughs> He's ongoing, late because of taxes. Be whenever it's this time of year. <laughs> it's the tax it dude made ends. me late. Um... And Bruh. every day, big ups 54915 for the taxes, membership, dude. Talking with my tax guy and information here and there, and la 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 la. And it's just not over yet. This morning, I got an email. I'm reading it. I'm like, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What? You know, you're supposed to mean you pay him to translate the things that you don't understand. understand I don't know. Who knows, right? And it's just, it's neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with obviously what's on streams, but obviously, you know, it adds to obviously. Uh, the stress of everything going on here. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> the tax dude sent me so, something. I don't know what it means. I wish that my taxes were a straightforward, streamlined process. They Fantastic. Not, there's always a million monkey wrenches thrown in. There's always a million things going on, and uh, that always. That, I would assume, pretty much most people who own their own business are probably going through the same thing that I do. Not my parents. I'm just hoping I can get to a point here where it's not affecting me for a while. And you other know, people that I'm stressed know. out again. Never bitch about that. So who knows, right? But it is what it is. That's just something that's going kind of on. Kind of the thing. I'm not going to give you any details yeah. or anything. But my parents just, have their own yeah. business too, and, and they pay the tax that. guy, so they don't okay. give a fuck about the tax this situation. Morning, my wife and I go downstairs with Bruh. Jasper, and I'm going to eat some mac and cheese. We go into the kitchen, and I start to make breakfast. Obviously, I'm not going to eat on coffee, camera. And I start making a microwave burrito. It's a egg, uh, a little bit of cheese. It's a spicy burrito. It has jalapenos and other spice in it. Okay. Um, and my wife actually went to use the restroom and Jasper Kitty usually runs and follows her around the house. It's very cute. So he's running and following her around the house and I'm in the kitchen making breakfast. Uh, you know, I have a sip of my coffee. My microwave burrito is about to finish and my wife finishes in the restroom, comes into the, into the kitchen and all of a sudden Jasper's following her and all of a sudden Bro, this he looks the down, longest story. And he looks like he's distracted. And I say, Jasper Kitty, what are you what are you looking at over there? What are you so distracted at? And I walk over to him, I look down, and there are ants <clears throat> on the floor in front of Jasper. And he is obviously looking at them. He's going boop 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 boop. So he's doing his job. Ants as a cat, is why he was late. Out the bugs. He's ants. Going, boop, 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 sp ants. Them, Not even cockroaches. Said, ants. ants. Now, I don't know if I've talked about this. Oh much. my god. Um, ants. I don't remember if Not I mentioned Not even cockroaches, it on, bro. On before. Okay, but many, 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 many years ago, I'm talking likely, I'm trying to remember, about a decade ago, when I lived in Connecticut, I had a bug infestation in my condo, okay? <laughs> a little bit of backstory about this. I think I've talked about this on podcasts and or shows before in the past, but it's been quite a long time since I've talked about it, so allow me to talk about it, okay? <clears throat> so back then, I lived alone, all right? And... I didn't have anyone else. We're going to get the, the entire, um, entire lore. So Holy fuck. Busy a lot Strap back in. Then when I was doing YouTube, it was like record all day long, <laughs> upload at night. And I really, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't really doing a great job <laughs> of in a place where I lived. I wasn't cleaning it actively. I wasn't checking on stuff. So, um, what happened was when I first moved into that place over a decade ago, I think I bought it. Wasn't it like 2009? It was either 2009 or 2010. It, it's so long. <laughs> you should go and check up. You should go check it out. That place. 
<clears throat> uh, originally, I had a lot of my Street Fighter friends over frequently to play Street Fighter with me. Okay. By the way, I'm so disheveled, I didn't even mention what day today is. Today is Friday, the 14th of April, 2022. Oh, okay. Wait, did I say the 14th? Friday, the 15th of April, 2022. I can't even speak today. I said, can you tell? Oh, what the fuck like, is wrong with morning it? Because of this shit. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> today we're gonna have a fun streaming day. Holy fuck! Games. We'll get then lean in for a manual okay. snort. Okay. <clears throat> wow, what a cringe monster! So, a cringe monster. Back then, my friends would come over. We play Street Fighter together a lot. I was still kind of trying to get back into competitive Street Fighter. At that point, Street Fighter Four was all the rage, and all my friends were into it, including me. I was trying to get into it and go to tournaments and stuff. And one time, I remember. Now, I very rarely cooked anything complex in my home back then. Being, you know, what single. is complex though? What is complex no, for you? Anything complex? I'll just what is complex? Me. So I would really Pizza? cook when I did. I would make a shitty cooking with the King video. It would be hilarious, and everyone would make fun of me because I didn't know how to cook. Right? <laughs> right. Everyone remembers that. So anyway, one time, complex, uh, one of my friends says, "I know how to cook, <laughs> and what I'd like to do is make us all like pork chops. So why don't we go to the grocery store, buy some ingredients?" And I'll make us breaded pork chops. We can eat it while we play Street Fighter today. I said, that sounds great to me. That's better than us, you know, ordering out some shitty fast food or whatever. Let's do that. Awesome. So we did so. And I remember we made the pork chops. They were pretty good. And one of the things that we had bought were panko breadcrumbs. Okay. I even remember, I still remember the box, what it looked like. I'm not even kidding. I remember what the box of panko breadcrumbs looked like. Bro. So how is this? Me, how does this relate to anything? Get to the anything fucking about point. Food, not knowing how to store it or anything. All After right. We ate. I literally had the box of panko breadcrumbs that okay. I just put right into my cupboard, my upper, you know, cabinets in the kitchen. Okay. Closed it and never thought about it ever again. Okay. I'm serious. I never gave it another thought. Likely one to two years later. I'm not exaggerating. Yes. One to two years later, after being a full-time YouTuber, after dedicating all my time to making videos and not giving a thought... Bro, anything, you forgot to explain what a kitchen. cupboard means. What is a cupboard? One day I start to notice I've got bugs What is pork chops? And they're pork these chops. bugs that kind of look like ants, but they're not, and they have wings, but the weirdest thing about them is they're not flying, okay? Okay. I don't know what the hell they were. <clears throat> and I start mentioning them. I start mentioning them. I start noticing them all over the kitchen. Oh, what the fuck is wow. that so of course now i go on a search where are these coming from <laughs> and i open the cabinet bro and i see a ton of them in there and i start squishing them only to find out they're all infested in the box of panko breadcrumbs all oh right? my the god box was full of them whose Apparently, fault was it though only make it somebody else eat, fault but i guess they might have even laid eggs in that cabinet because there yeah. was an insane amount of them the whole cabinet was full of them yeah so no I shit had to go in there full force with alcohol slash cleaning agents and smashed cleaning agents. a ridiculous amount of insects. It took hours of work. <laughs> hours disgusting. of work. Of to hours of work. It was hours of work. Okay. Oh my fucking and god. After, I was creeped out, of course. That's that's you know, a bug. I don't care about a bug here or there. When you get an infestation like that, that's disgusting. It's ants right? though. It's like, fuck. That's it's not even ants. like cockroaches. Okay. So this was, you know, again, over. He would know how to deal with them since he is long, one. Long past history, but I do have not necessarily a phobia, but like I oh, want to yeah. keep a clean house oh, now. Oh, yeah. and ever since then, I've made an honest effort to make sure that my home is clean and doesn't have food and shit lying around. What about all so the that trash that, that, that you stockpile in the garage? Any kind of an infestation of bugs or anything. Never here. mind. In fact, in my home right now, okay, anything that I have that's open, like flour, sugar, stuff like that, your is wife's in legs, a sealed plastic bag, zipped, airtight. No way that any bug could get into that. I don't have anything open. Everything is in a in an airtight container or a bag or whatever. My home is cleanly in that regard, and we regularly clean the house. Every you know, at least once every other day. Dude is living in like a, a serial killer people. life. This guy will Not eventually start murdering people. All. There's no way he won't. Have a nasty house, right? I've been there. I've done that. You're gonna become an unsub. Absolutely disgusting, right? And yeah, okay. Yeah, it is disgusting. Now, DSP. About three weeks to a month ago, I would say. Okay. We noticed a couple of ants near the back door, all right? And when we noticed the couple of ants, you're like, uh-oh, that's not good. Let's keep an eye on it. Let's make sure that this is not a big deal. Now, luckily, these are not the How ginormous ants. How did you keep an eye ants. on it the red when you have a lot of ants black now. ants. They're not huge, you know, 
menacing problem or anything. Yeah, they're like not that. fire the ants. We have a backyard. Not bullet our backyard ants. sucks. Our backyard was <laughs> was like paved over. It's the weirdest shit. Okay, everyone else who lives here has a nice green backyard with grass, and you can plant stuff or you can do stuff there. Our backyard, the people who owned this place before I bought it. Oh, it's the previous people. With okay. squares the previous people. So our yard is a bunch <laughs> of grid of squares with fucking first. moss and Ants weeds shooting roach? up between it. What's a it's a mess. Infestation? It's, it's shitty. It's a really probably one of the worst backyards. You of can't have more than one place. pig roach at okay. a time, dude. Come on. That would so, break the system. All right. Likely, from anywhere. They could be coming from any of the cracks in the backyard. It's not like, oh, you have a yard, you can look for an anthill. They could be coming out of anywhere. All right? So there's really not much that you can do about that. Uh, there's nothing he can do you know, about that. There's a, he I just said there's nothing right, you stop. can do. How am I going to find it? Take a, take a fucking nothing. giant cannon of bug spray and spray the nothing. entire backyard. It's going to cost $1,500 to call somebody okay. to fix it. So we said, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All right, well, we're going to try to do our best to keep an eye and make sure the ants don't get in the house. Oh, so do nothing. So we started looking, and we noticed a few, a few, a few. Do nothing. One day, and this was about two weeks ago, we noticed a good amount. I'd say probably there were like four or five near the back door. All of a sudden, we started seeing them around the middle of the bottom floor. We even saw a couple in the living room. We're like, okay, not good. What this means is now they've sent out the scouts. These are the scouting ants. These are the ones that go out looking for food. They try to grab something and the bring it scouts. back to the ant hill. <laughs> this dude the knows so house. much about fucking ants. Follow the ants me. So want the that line of ants to the house to get food, right? This is what they do. So, <clears throat> what we tried to do is kill yeah, the, as many the, as we can. Uh, and ant wants some door This was not working. Kill as so many as we doing, can. Um, this is fucking motherfucker. Now, ant traps come in ant traps? different kinds. The ones that we got were basically the this motherfucker is, is, is a it? lunatic. And it's this little. He knows everything about everything, but can't stop it. Container full of transparent liquid. Okay. And the liquid has. Listen to him about how this failed as well. You just twist off the tip, and you put it around the house. You can put Fucking it in the ant traps. You can put it uh, at a place where you frequently see the ants. What we did, we put. He has one a fetish door, to explain stuff that he knows nothing about. One near the trash can in the <laughs> he kitchen. Explain to you everything you about ants. Smell and try to go. Uh, and these the ants, they're the scout ants. Okay, it's food. They'll they locate there, other right? other so items. We kept our eyes on the and situation. loot drops. And in the last week or so, <laughs> what a we, fucking retard. We see a couple. There's no other lot. word for this but a retard. That's it. Okay, no big deal, right? We're thinking the traps are working. In fact, just yesterday. I had a phone call with my dad, and I gave him an update. I said, it looks like the traps are working. <laughs> he gave him because an update. We haven't really seen many ants in the last day or two. Okay? No big deal. Well, okay. that all came to an end this morning. Like I said, uh, we're walking into the kitchen, and Jasper's distracted. He's looking all around, and he sees a ton of ants, I guess. And oh, he starts, no. He starts, you know, smashing them. So we're like, all right. This is not good. We got to take take care of this situation. What's going on? Lord we start looking. They're the everywhere. Best. All right? Discovery They're on the kitchen floor. Feel. They're along 100 the percent discovery channel in the, in the dining room. They're all along the edges. <laughs> discovery Walking channel. Through the dining room. Okay. It's more like um, Animal Planet. In the, we, we, what we figured out is that it looks like they're they're trying to get to the pantry. Now the pantry, like I just said, has okay. food in it, but it's all stored. It's all in plastic bags or whatever. Okay. So we actually don't know what exactly they're coming to get. You know what I mean? Like I don't know your what wife's ass to get because there doesn't. Seem <laughs> They're coming for Jasper. We've never really seen an ant walking with food. You know when an ant grabs a piece of food, <laughs> then it walks away with the food above its head. And Bro, it this is a cartoon, the, motherfucker. Uh, uh what you would call it? Bring I mean, it back to the ant. I've I've we seen, seen him seen like that, that, but right? What? what? Yeah. They can pick up anything. They can pick up breadcrumbs. Haven't seen that at all. You dumb oh. son of a bitch! So what the fuck is sure. this? What's what? attracting them, or what they're looking for, or if they're even getting anything, right? What? Yeah. So, well, you know, basically we killed a bunch. There was, uh, there was one that, bro. Uh, there was a few in the pantry killed. I that. eat your wife's we ass entirely. Them. We Cat's gonna be assless. And my wife took out the Swiffer mop and went whoop, what, mopped the whole floor. So essentially, what we're hoping. Is that even if that left behind any trace of the ants? Because some people say, "Oh, when you kill bugs, it leaves a pheromone." I can I can tell you for a fact. I know certain bugs. That's true. <laughs> there was one year. I know certain story, bugs. One year, there was a bug that snuck into my office window over here. Okay, and I killed it on the wall, and you know, <laughs> dead. All of a sudden, a ton more bugs came to the window. They're from so the same gang. Something stink, a pheromone or something came out of the bug and attracted other bugs. So I get the feeling that's something that happens is if you kill bugs, it could attract more. 
So we knew we had to clean right away. So all the ants we killed, we mopped right away. We mopped the whole floor. <laughs> so that hopefully... They sanitized the whole house yeah, after killing yeah, like I five more traps. So I put out even more traps now. He puts so more now traps. Trap on the other side of the dining room, we never had <laughs> Clean up your fucking house, house you dipshit. Traps. One in the pantry itself. Have more traps. And then I put one somewhere else in the kitchen. So we basically have six traps. Whoa. Okay, six freaking traps. <laughs> Bro, the, this guy's legit retarded. Kitchen. It's Hello, Renee. Hello, everybody in chat. For this that. unscheduled Some stream. Saying you gotta use bug spray. We can't. We have a Holy cat. Fuck. We can't use bug spray in the house. If Jasper licks it, he can get sick. Bro, so please, happen. Please possible. make that happen. Know where to spray. Or so bug spray down Jasper's door, bitch ass throat. Never really seen it. You know what I mean? I like Jasper. Have, sadly, our back door is a screen door. It sucks. There's nothing you can do about a fucking shitty screen door. It's gonna have a, you know openings and things in it, and we don't even know that's where it's coming from. What if they're coming from? A crack in the wall it could be we don't know right we don't know where the hell they're coming from we haven't really been able to detect it um and detect it so there's not much you could do there <laughs> if i spray this this, know, this motherfucker sadly get jasper sick. Bruh. i'm being i'm being recommended what you the can first do guy i've met who can't find where the That's ants come from i appreciate that it's like the easiest thing to do best. i think big i'm gonna right now streams. i'm gonna put on hey big ups anything here. gaming uh bug spray i don't know what is there to love about this he's putting bug spray on his fucking shopping list and spray right now okay this motherfucker is so stupid he is so fucking stupid and i will buy a bottle or or what is it, a spray can a bug spray okay do we need to do a tips goal for it do does it uh, cost a thousand a thousand dollars yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna spray around the edge of the, the perimeter of the house you know obviously i have to wait for my day Dude, off this is a this. massive emergency he's gonna uh, wait for his day off to yeah, do this He's gonna Obviously, have ants in his house until that Tuesday. To the house, too. we don't know what it is. Um, Your wife. And now uh, we have six traps. Kitty now, sucks. Right? It smells. I mean, will that be enough? I don't know. <laughs> gonna have it until you know, Tuesday. Really this um, dumb motherfucker. I, I, I'm looking for any help or suggestions. It's not that it's a giant any help and right suggestions. Now, he needs yeah, help with this too. Also weird about fucking it. retard can exist day. anything by himself. Can do anything by himself. One or two. Can't even fucking like I don't know. Wake up by himself. They're Need to have a, somebody waking eight, him up with some right? shit. Overnight. Bass says the trash inside likely attracts them. So fucking stupid. How is he so dumb? Our trash is not like a normal trash can. Our it's trash of course is it's a not. Separator can that separates regular trash from recyclable. Of because course. Here, everything is green, and they force yeah. you to separate everything. You moved and out there, dipshit. Small garbage. Did bag. you do that the research? At most, is there for like a day, day and a half before it gets thrown out. Um, and the way the can works. It has an auto closing <laughs> lid and it actually has a set. Let's gator. talk about the so can. There's something really stinky engineering. in engineering. Sometimes you really don't know. It's not like a, a typical trash can where. Of course, it's, you know, it's, it's trash can, can but for rich people. That's what you should in. say. And, you know, the kid that the lid sucks. It's, it's actually trash a really can trash for people who have money to live in a gated so community. I, I honestly don't think so. Even though, yes, we have seen a couple of them near the trash can. More of them today. Bro, it's going to be so much more funny when he loses everything. Way between when he has to move out of this community, it's going to be so good. Okay. It's going to be the best. Oh, my God. I have to go to Walmart? That's only for those type of people. You only one trap placed at the trail stores. Check the closets and AC unit areas. You don't have any of that. Dude, Ants this makes all the sense. Big ups, Jay Chillin. He's played bug snacks. He knows everything want. about exactly bugs. Exactly right. That's exactly what we want. At first, you know, we thought that they were coming through the, the actual back screen door, which is where we put the oh. trap. But obviously, they're coming in from somewhere else. So what we're, you're right. What we're trying to do, we're trying to find a way to put a trap so that they hit the trap between when they're coming in and, and the food itself. Motherfucker, so dumb, from. bro. He's so <laughs> dumb. Even something yeah. like this, so, it's not even like a cockroach infestation or like crickets or something. Back, make sure again ants. Food out, which we don't. We have no food ants. out. Ants. That's what's weird about what's attracting It's a here. massive we issue. Food out. I don't know. Um, in the pantry, everything. Holy is fuck. Sealed. Everything's sanitary. Right. And this like this so, really this uh, thinking out loud <laughs> segment in infu yeah. infuriates the, the, actually, the me. Living right. in the living the room, fucking brainstorming out loud. In the living room. We, we it's like, motherfucker, what do you bad. expect me to tell you? The entire time this has been happening, about a month, we've only seen very few ants in the living room. Because there's okay. really nothing in there. We think that you know, we okay. see way more. They're probably not coming from the there, then. The back door area, the rugs to the back door where they're walking along the edges, and then the pantry and the trash can. So, it's not right. Exactly. Lipstein says, as far as infestations go, ants aren't too bad. They're not that bad. Because the thing is with ants, they're not really 
how can I say, destructive. They're okay. not termites. They don't eat your fucking wood and destroy your house, right? Okay. And they're not like a bunch of bugs that are going to... The ants aren't going to make an anthill in your house, right? They're not, yes. they're not like bees. Oh, we want to make a fucking hive in your house. Or I hope they do, though. Instead, they're just looking for food. All they're doing I really is hope they food. do. I hope okay. they, these ants are remain for the Pokemon says, well, end of the exos year. Exoskeletons, they get Every day. Like us. It could be a temperature Ants change. talk. I guarantee you it's a temperature change. This didn't happen. Oh, I guarantee you it's a temperature, temperature change. I guarantee sudden, you. By the way... This is the first time really ever. He's the Steve Irwin of, of e-beggars. The Steve seen. Irwin of e-beggars. Um, he knows everything. But it has to beg anyways. Never seen really an ant in a what house. a Let's fucking dirtbag bum. Well. There has been. But I've never really seen an ant in a house. Um, the only real bug problems we, I've ever had here. Number one, one year, there was a really bad, those little fruit flies, little red ones. There was a bad situation where they found a place to reproduce in the house and they laid eggs and then they were all over. I had to swat and kill a bajillion of them and then I got rid of them. And then there was another, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Another thing is um, spiders. We used oh, to have no, they had spiders. spiders. spiders bad problem. Here. What is a bad they problem? They yes, get quite we... big. Like, I've seen spiders this big. I'm not kidding. That fucking big. No. Big black spiders. No. They're not. No, you, you haven't seen them. But... Yeah, it's kind of creepy. When you I instantly don't around. believe him because it's like really seen not that believable. Since we got Jasper, I think what it is is Jasper takes him out. He sees the baby spider, Jasper he gets rid of it, so it never has a chance to grow huge. Because I've not seen many Possibly. Many spiders since we got Jasper. Jasper um, is known to to do incredible so, amounts of stuff. Jasper is like a super like superhuman cat. Literally with my super wife, cat cat. the whole downstairs, you know, area. I took everything out of the cupboard. I was squishing ants. Hey, what did Nightbot uh, do again? And then she took out the, like I said, the mop, the Swiffer mop, and she was cleaning the whole floor. Uh, and then she vacuumed, she yeah. vacuumed, she Swiffered everything. Oh, you got time trying to clean up. Like five seconds. And uh, hopefully, it's the this is not an ongoing problem. Now I got six traps out, right? But what okay. I will do, I will take. You need that six more. From I forgot his name, and I apologize. I already forgot. He said get the bug spray and spray around the perimeter of the house. Oh I'll really? Do that too. All right. Well, absolutely. I'm gonna do that because I got. Yo, legit. This guy didn't this have. Is, uh, a, oh my no. god. Okay. Okay. Gotta get rid enough. Of, can't, enough. Can't have ants keep coming in the house for our food, food and shit when they're, especially when there's nothing in here. Like, what are they coming in here for? <laughs> they're not getting anything. So why do they keep coming back? Right? Is it pale blood? Was he the one who suggested it? <clears throat> now we gotta find who no, suggested who the advice. I don't know. <laughs> this is legit one of the dumbest. No, never segments. had roaches, thankfully. Never had. Oh, you roaches. should. You yeah. should. You're gonna get along quite nicely. Oh, you're a family. Says, if you had spiders this big. Your I'd family, be except you're inbred. Oh, I've had spiders that big. Big black ones. No. But they're not hairy. They're not like tarantulas or anything. They're just big oh. black spiders with big spindly legs. And they have these eyes and they have the little the little mouths that go ah, da, 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 just like that. <laughs> Alright, this guy's retarded. <laughs> Let me tell you. This guy's like Chris Chan level. <laughs> then, <laughs> not not night, quite Chris Chan, but poison. getting there. <laughs> you go into the hallway and you look up What a goes, fucking <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Absolute nutcase. No, nutcase. If the spiders talk to me, I would start moving. I and I know it's supposed to be a bit, and it's supposed to be funny, but this with the with the fake laugh. <laughs> You've never heard of that breed of spider? You never heard of the I heard of the spider? <laughs> Yo, oh holy God. fuck! These ants anyway. gave him like radi radioactive oh, poisoning or some shit. Oh man, are they wolf spiders? I think they're called wolf spiders. I think that's yeah, they're, they're called, called. wolf anyway, like spiders. Said, yes, we don't have them. Well, you know what it might be? Oh, the Here, pig cause spiders, effect, right? So, originally when I moved in here, spiders were kind of a problem. Oh no! A lot of them. Spiders yeah, Jasper, backstory. No spiders aren't a problem anymore, but okay. now we got ants. What is an animal you should get? The ants. What? You right? should start Jasper eating the ants on your day off, so you don't stay hungry. Okay. <laughs> Eat anyway, some ants. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is, right? Uh, so, what that's what is. I was doing this morning, alright? And then, uh, it sucked. That's right, Pokemon says, this is why when it comes to pest control, it's control, not stop forever. People complain they're not gone after the first spray. All you can do is control them to an extent, right? Until until basically they either die out themselves or, like someone said, if they actually take the bait. Bro, sometimes I'm not sure colony, if he is the stupider one, one gone, or the dudes right? in his chat. Because right, like, the shit yeah, that those that's, people that's say yeah. sometimes is, like, retarded. Okay. Keep those the European ants, ants and spiders out have of to your come house. Into oh, big ups, dude. Your contributions are helping me directly. The food out of it. Stay safe back from all them, kinds of natural without disasters finding them without and unnatural them, disasters. Right? Without any hindrance, because what are the chances that the ants Lupe. are making it back? Obviously, a few must have, or else they wouldn't be coming back. The ant goes out, finds something, comes back to the colony. Hey, guys, I found it, and then sends out more, right? Um, 
Yeah, but I get it's like in a video like, game. I don't know. We definitely need it. We definitely need to have them to. Uh, I don't know. It's just a bad situation. What can you do, right? At least it's not the worst. It could be way worse. You gotta look at the bright side of life. It's not that bad, right? Yeah. It's why talk about it so long when it's not that bad? <laughs> talk this long for something but that's actually that bad. And hopefully. The ants hopefully. kidnapped your wife or something. Okay. And now we need to so get a tips goal. Hopefully this is a hostage that. goal. Got six traps out. I'm a little bit more diligent, and I'm good. <laughs> Ransom to goal. And I'm going to spray the perimeter of the house, and hopefully that takes care of All right, DSP, All right. hopefully. Uh, please update us every single day. Best we can do. You know that he's going to do that. Every yeah. single day, there's going to be an update. <sighs> As you right. guys know, there I got go. ants now, earlier this week. Someone says, make sure the ant spray is safe for pets. The if ant spray will be sprayed outside. We're not spraying it inside. No, make sure it's dangerous for pets. Make sure it's, it, it's, it's right toxic now, for pets. He would probably be touching shit, right? Okay. Excuse me. You're not excused. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. You're acting like a bitch. <laughs> All right, so let's now talk about games and streaming. It was the gravy train, baby. What, you, what do you mean? You didn't know that was what the stream was about? Like, you didn't know the bug, the bug stream? Way too much I was going to talk more about complaint. bugs. I was going to tell you about the bug that it I had that was in the $5. office and I killed it Next once. Next and I left pest it there for over a year. Fundraiser for three thousand dollars to get rid of the giant swine devouring spiders. Dude, they should they should have the spider arc. DSP getting attacked by spiders live on camera? That would be incredible. I would love okay. that. Big up Squid Hustler for the gravy train. Okay. All right. Imagine he gets attacked on box. on I'm camera. Sure we did. We didn't see anything over there. They haven't really gotten that far yet. Maybe a few did, but we, I don't think we've seen them get that far. Um, of the double, we'll have to check. Okay. Anyway, let's stop talking about this now. I'm now now I don't want to talk about ants. Fuck the ants. The ants can go to hell. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. Like uh, the schedule. Okay. In Ladies which games are slow? About the streaming week, all right? Today, it's LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Oh, he's going to beg massively going in this segment. Jedi, which is the final movie in the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, uh, a lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. They think that it's the most campy of them because it has the Ewoks and everything in it. Uh, actually, I feel, for the game's purposes, it might actually be really good. Because not only are you going to have scenes in space with air you know probably space dog fighting not only will you have a scene uh where luke okay. has to face off against darth vader and the emperor which will be pretty iconic but you're also going to have <clears throat> excuse me uh endor okay all the stuff happening on endor like like the speeder bikes and all kinds of stuff so i think that there's going to be a lot of fun to on today's stream this dude is like the biggest the fucking fake so far, fan of star wars the biggest, wars. Potential the biggest fake people. fan okay so that should be fun um so there you go. Um, the yeah, biggest so fake fan. Stream. Just acts yeah. like, name drops a bunch of shit that seems like he knows what he's talking about, but when it comes to actually knowing about stuff, he doesn't. But he really doesn't. Um, definitely, if you're going to stick around for the stream, let's have a nice chill time together. As you guys know, I am doing the ultra low latency streaming now. That means <clears> nothing. That legit means nothing for means the for the viewers. Because um, I'm doing it too for like six months now. When I'm doing stuff and when you see it, it's only about a five hey, second delay you take. Which is great. It used to be between 50 to 30, 15 to 30 seconds, excuse me. And now it's only five. A five second delay is almost nothing. There'll be lots of opportunity for interaction, for discussion. I hope you guys will talk to me because sometimes when I play a game like this, sadly the stream kind of gets distracted and people start talking about other stuff. And next thing you know, no one's really paying attention to the game. And I hope that doesn't happen because I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, The late stream tonight is. Friday Night Fights, Old School Street Fighter Fun, as we play the classics in the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. That's going to be at 6.45 p.m. Pacific Time. Now, All right. last week, we did not have a good time with Street Fighter, and it actually angered me. Because usually when we play Old School Way Street to Fighter, anger, it's a ton of fun. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Go down memory lane. It makes me feel like I'm back in arcades again. It makes you feel night, like back when you had money and people didn't arcade, hate you as much. Yeah, I, I get people, it. You know, lining up, putting your cards up playing against each other and learning, you know, strategies and, and things on the fly because that's the only way you could do it back then. There was no online play. There was not even home console versions of these games. Okay. Um, what are we talking about? So it? when I play Street Fighter every Friday, it's like a blast from the past. And oh, it's also, a blast from I'm the really past. I'm really good at the original Street Fighter games. Um, so it's fun to watch me because I, I kind of know what I'm doing as opposed to most other games where I know nothing and I'm flubbing through and I suck ass. But in this game, I actually can do pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> so that being said, um, the cool part about pretty it good is at those games. We're gonna be playing the... another version because I yeah got he's gonna play on Xbox. It's the Xbox Series X version. Still and gonna I get told, trolled. 
we have a better time because last week it was a horrendous situation. Number one, <clears throat> couldn't get a solid lobby. Every time I joined a lobby, it was liquid. People would drop. It was a liquid quit, lobby. Trolls would come in. So I couldn't just sit in a lobby and play for more than like 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, because they see okay? dark side Phil then, joining in. They want to fuck off. Laggy as hell. Either massive, massive delay or dropped inputs out the ass, which is just as equally as bad as massive delay. If half your stuff you're doing doesn't come out in the game, then what's the point of playing the game? You don't even feel like you're playing, right? In addition to that, <clears throat> then there was crashes and glitches. This is a problem with the PlayStation version where sometimes you go to start a match with someone and the whole screen goes black and the whole game crashes. Yeah, last and stream was great. Up. That this was great. I think Goji Tanks so was there. It was, was great. I played the game. I was like, dude, I can't play for more than like 10 minutes. This is so frustrating. It was very hard to put on an entertaining stream. It was very was sweaty. And I couldn't even plus, play plus his, uh, his fighting game streams are boring to begin so with. Said, so the more disaster happens, the more fun it gets. Xbox. Now, the good news about the Xbox. the trolls, obviously. Number one, the trolls don't exist. There was oh, one yeah. they don't exist. To be one of the trolls. I blocked them, and now I never have to play them ever again. We have not seen a troll on the okay. Xbox version since I played it that one the first week. Okay, that's good. Also, there's no crashes. The Xbox version has never crashed once. So I guess whatever that weird is, Jack's is, gonna show up. Version, drop like hundred fifty the bucks. The bad news is there's less. People Maybe two hundred. So it's like okay, no trolls, no crashing, no issues. But is there anyone playing right now to play? Sometimes when I play on Xbox, there's only one or two lobbies total to play, and then sometimes I can't even find one. So I end up having to go searching for, like, ranked matches, which sometimes works and sometimes does not. So I guess we'll see how it goes tonight. Uh, I hope it goes well, and I hope that we have a good time. I hope okay. you'll join me 6.45 p.m. Pacific time to see how it goes. I hope we can find competition, and I hope that it's a fun stream. I hope. But there's no real guarantee because uh i'm pretty sure there's gonna be more trolls this time collection. around but they're gonna get right, banned hey. anyways we've been playing this collection since 2018 yeah can you believe we've been playing the street fighter 30th anniversary collection for four years on and off i mean holy shit it's due for a new a new collection and thank god in about two months time there is a new collection coming out capcom fighting collection this one is going to have a new version of Street Fighter 2. It's called Hyper Street Fighter 2, which is an amalgamation wow, of all the versions of Street Fighter 2 in one. All five. Weren't you against re-releases of the same shit Ryu, over and over Ryu, again? Ryu and then bought Street Skyrim, the 15th release. It's interesting. <laughs> this guy is an enigma. Enigma. So we'll when that comes out, if it's any good. But there's also Dark Stalkers in that collection too, which is kind of neat because I, I like that game. I suck at it, but I'll try to get better at it. But um. But yeah, finally we're going to have a new thing to replace it. Thank goodness, because this collection, ugh, it leaves a lot to be desired, to say the least, all right? Um, Just like DSP. So it's on its last legs. It's the last few sessions of it. Uh, I know that people like to see me do it every week, but man, it's getting tough. It really is getting difficult to continue to play this collection because of this stuff. So let's hope for the best tonight, okay? All right, in one second, I'm actually going to close my blinds because the sun came out. Oh, now we got a blinds close thing. thing. Uh, looks like but no why would you do that? This minutes. Well, what? It's what? Still working? For real? Let's okay, see. What is yeah. this? Eight forty-nine. Oh yeah, legit. Nobody said anything for two minutes. Nobody. I have the the fucking. Uh, you can see timestamps. Look at this. Eight forty-nine. Eight fifty-one. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. He's just starting the stream, and people are fucking tired already. Oh no. Oh no. Also, which raises the, the other question is when he when he has to encounter issues with his blinds every day, why does he not figure out an idea where he doesn't have to get up during the stream and do that shit? Three, I guess, tested and said that Lego Star Wars runs better on the Series X than it does on the PS5. I've been playing it on the PS5. I've seen some frame drops, but I certainly haven't seen too much issue with the graphics. But what's funny is the sales numbers. The sales numbers actually came out. The sales are funny. And in this first They're week, big. over 50% of the copies of the game have been sold on PlayStation. And okay. then it was like 20-something percent was sold on the Switch. And then actually Xbox has the least sold. Okay. Do you have any input yeah. on this? More people bought it or on Switch just than mentioning. Xbox. Which is okay. weird. I actually, I'll be honest, I thought more people would have bought it on Switch than the other consoles entirely because the Switch is the console that most kids have and it's definitely a game geared towards kids, right? I mean, it's a Lego game. Hmm. It's 
geared towards generally everybody. It's like the general well, public. A couple weeks away from this broken also, he had no Michael no input to it. To the, he had no input. He just said, oh, what I think is funny is the sales are this and this. And I thought that kids would buy it on the Switch. Today, which is awesome. Or something. <clears throat> okay. This was like a, a legit yeah, I mean, a, a waste right. of a segment. I thought Lego would have sold way more on Switch, and it didn't. It actually sold like way over the top on PlayStation. Okay. Do you have any installed player base suggestion so why? On PlayStation installed player game? I would guarantee you a lot of those sales are on PS4, not PS5. Probably. That would be my guess. All right, guys. Oh, anyway. you know what? <clears throat> this is a good idea. Vinnie Banks wants to finish the Depression song on stream. And maybe after the pre-stream, since I, I don't really have an intention on sticking here a lot, I just wanted to do this. Uh, maybe I'm going to open up my, the studio and we can Tomorrow, try it. Maybe. We return to Elden Ring. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Elden Ring stream was interesting because it was the first stream where I'm I... I'm so excited, you guys. Was the blasphemous Can't you tell sword? by my face? Blasphemous sword? Blasphemous blade. I think it's alliteration, so I think it's the blasphemous blade. Plus a shield... Which I almost never used, but I started using a shield, and the shield not only is good for blocking, but also auto heals. Okay, um, so that was really cool, and uh, I like the build a lot. In fact, I really like the special ability on the sword. The shockwave was coming out pretty useful yesterday when I was playing. So anyway, we're in the end game areas of Elden Ring now. We're actually in the snow field. I guess in the snow field, there's a lot to do. There's options. He doesn't look like a puffer fish. He looks like a blobfish. Legit looks like a blobfish. Not even, not even memeing. I don't really know what's there. Look at this. I haven't spoiled myself or anything on the game, but so blobby. The final optional areas of the game. It's probably gonna take me several streams to get. Uh, no, I didn't buy Elden Ring yet. And then after that, making my way through the other games, and then eventually I'm probably gonna get it on the PS4. The end game of Elden Ring at this point, and yes, it is challenging for those who are wondering. No, I'm not just steamrolling everything anymore. Because some people were upset. Because I, I, admittedly, Mount Gelmer, Volcano Manor, and most of the ci the, the capital city of Landel was too easy. The only part that was challenging underneath the capital city of Landel, there's a hidden uh, dungeon in a well, and the hidden dungeon in the well is actually quite challenging. And there's actually secret stuff down there that that's pretty tough. And that was fun. Um. But that being said, it basically the whole middle of the game, I was over leveled for and it was boring. All right, I'm being honest. Like I felt like Mount Gelmer was kind of a waste of time. Volcano Manor was a fun dungeon that was too easy. Bro, you're reading and guides. Same bro. thing. Like the capital city was a really nice place to explore, but it just didn't. No, feel your like... your your review and your playthrough is not really valid. To have like a a soapbox and ramble on your soapbox, it's just not valid. He looked a bunch of other people play the game. He looked a bunch of fucking guides. You looked all that shit. It's not valid, DSP. Nobody cares about what you think at this point. Yeah, and so if you've been holding off or you haven't really enjoyed the Elden Ring streams recently, you actually should get a lot more enjoyment out of them starting tomorrow because now everything is tough. Everything's kicking my ass. Things are killing me two hits again. Ridiculous. Okay? So that should be good. And tomorrow night will be the conclusion of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Kirby is finally coming to an end. Uh, we're going to have to the final stage in the optional content of Kirby. And then it's basically there's even more secret post game stuff, and then we're done. If we end up finishing that early, that's fine. We can easily just do like open Q and A or just chilling on the stream. I'm not gonna jump into anything else. Um... Bro, the Kirby shit. Get a load of this. He reached the last boss and decided to do Q and A instead. Saga, and likely will either be finishing. Return of the Jedi. He literally just didn't want to finish the game. The pre I'm stuck and what a scrub. Big ups for the sub. Kid Fusion 19. Yeah, big ups Kid the Fusion Phantom for Menace. the sub. Who everyone hates. I remember seeing the Phantom Menace in theaters. Okay. I remember it was a reinvigoration. I thought everyone Star hates the they Last Jedi. It very strategic. Here's what they did. For those who don't know who weren't around in the 90s, these marketing guys know what they're doing. Here's what they did. They re-released... The original Star Wars trilogy in theaters hyped it up as, oh, these are the new special editions that George Lucas approved with new 3D graphics and all kinds of shit to try to get people <clears throat> um, hyped for Star Wars again. Because Star Wars had basically kind of been, uh, how can I say, it was uh, kind of old. It was old-fashioned. People had seen the original trilogy and... You know, it basically kind of got played out and people weren't really talking about Star Wars anymore. That's a good so they point. decided to do this re-release. DSP, I thought your viewer base was adults. They would know what happened. 
It's all over the place. They re-released and, and his filter is coming on and off. His uh color correction. Pions everywhere you went. We went to fucking Burger King. They had a Star Wars fucking kids meal. You went to this place. They had Star Wars merch all over the place. Yeah. They did. A, Somebody a tell this guy break. about the McDonald's Fortnite Travis Scott menu. Same movies. He's it gonna was blow his mind. Wait a minute. Aren't they the same movies? They are, except they have shitty CGI in them and a dancing fucking person or, or dancing alien in the job of the hook pal saying. But I digress. Um. It was crazy, and I actually got into yeah, Star Wars at that time. I couldn't avoid it. Everyone was into Star Wars. It was big. I actually collected a little bit of the action figures. I went and I saw the movies with my parents in theaters, okay? Now, why did they actually do this? Because actually, they were making For a money. prequel trilogy, and by doing this hype, by rehyping the original movies, they basically brought Star Wars back to mainstream pop culture prominence again. So now, when the prequel movies were announced and coming out, Oh my god, there's new Star Wars? Holy fucking shit. We'll take the fucking jets of uh, of the Millennium Falcon, put them in your ass, and rocket yourself through your ceilings. Take out your lightsabers and wave them around like a fucking disco rave. Woo-hoo-hoo, Star Wars is back, baby. That's how people were celebrating. It was nuts. People went absolutely crazy. Yo. Um, Yo. For somebody, Star Wars again. Somebody called oh the police. God, Star Wars was everywhere. Like, I just remember in the 90s, Star Wars became like the biggest thing in pop culture everywhere you saw star wars it was star wars merch out the ass you could you were fucking buy star wars cookies fucking star wars toilet paper fucking star wars yeah dsp you like why is it such a surprise to you i was this gonna was say a, Wookie Con, it was a big let's thing let's not go that far anyway <laughs> so Wookie yeah, it was that big. oh and then i remember phantom menace came out one of my friends had a star wars condom for the movie made it was going amazing. to the red light district all right and all Amsterdam. the promotional materials for the movie didn't show jar jar banks i'm not kidding no one talked about this character all the promotional darth maul and his dual lightsaber and obi-wan kenobi is young see his origin story of how he was training the young padawan and blah 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 you know so it was pretty cool with this, pre this prequel trilogy, and then all of a sudden Phantom Menace came out, and went to the movies to watch it, and the intro segment is really cool, and then there's the whole middle, and the further you watch the movie, you just like, uh, yeah, it sucks. Okay. And then every time Jar Jar's on the screen, you're like, ah, oh, right. <laughs> Bro, you're not even Yikes. like a fan. Why are you being so? Why There's are you being so offended of it? You don't even care about it that deeply. You're not actually a fan. That's epic stuff. But they could have edited the movie down to 20 minutes, and it would have been a better movie. Seriously, the movie's terrible with all the filler shit in it and the terrible characters. Like, yeah. So, anyway, I remember the movie coming out, and it was like they totally tried to pretend like it was a great movie, but most people who saw it were like. <laughs> Like, oh, God, this is what they're going to do with these, right? Yeah. Like, holy shit. Um, so anyway, I don't even we're have playing a camera Phantom on Menace, this Fuck this. likely on Sunday, and I'm like, oh, God, what are they going to do with this? Right? How how will Phantom Menace pan out how? as a game in this? Skywalker I mean, as a game, saga? it's probably going to be I mean, okay. The, movie, so the writing the of the movie was terrible. The CGI maybe was maybe bad. Be underwater in vehicles shooting or going around. Maybe they'll yeah. have the, the big the war. That as, a, the, as a the, game, it's probably going to be okay. It's the fucking... Everything can be good as a game. I don't game. know what's going to happen with this, with this game. That's, right? why, that's why the opposite of it, video game adaptations for movies, that's why they suck. So in, in reverse, you can make anything into a fun game. Anyway, that's Sunday. <laughs> I, I'm really not looking... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really not looking forward to Phantom Menace. Everything else after that, I'll be happy, but... Oh, boy. And then Sunday night, we'll be Skyrim After Hours. We're going to finish up the Dark Brotherhood quest line. We've been doing this now for a while. Uh, a couple streams. All actually. right, Skyrim. Now yeah, we're going to beg that everybody is <clears throat> getting me. bored of it. Um, I'm curious to see uh, how it ends because I don't remember. I actually have no recollection of how the Dark Brotherhood quest line ends. There was this big twist last night that I didn't remember either, and I was like, oh, Jesus. I just, you know, Lord I didn't play the game for 10 the years. Best. I only remember what Big I only did the once. Elden Ring okay. endgame has Phil uh, so that'll be fun. And then on Monday, we'll have more <laughs> Elden Ring. Uh, pay pick and then destroyed. Monday night, we Hopefully are it's going to be salty. Here's what I mean. Monday night, Kirby's done. We need to add something new to the late night chill stream rotations, all right? And the options are as follows. We can either do MLB The Show 22, which is free on Game Pass. We can add that to the rotation. Or MLB. This dude is going to play MLB. 
off of Game Pass that I've already started to continue. Now, I've already told you some of the titles there that are available, like The Outer Wilds or The Forgotten City's Final he's, Ending. He's going to butcher Iron that Fish, Outer Wilds. Sham 4, Quake, amongst These other, are all terrible ideas. Like that, okay? This is like a marathon-style lineup. We can do a variation where what we can do is maybe Monday night we'll do one game. All right, and the next night that it's time for a Game Pass game, we do a different game, and we do this based on rotating polls. So here's the idea. I make a poll of five games, you guys vote. The game that wins gets played Monday night. But now, the next time we're going to do a Game Pass game, I put up a poll that takes out the game we just played, but it's the other remaining um, game. So now, you bro. vote on the remaining game, so we get a different game for that Game Pass night. And All then of that these... Game gets taken out of the poll, this is so contrived. This is, is so contrived. Holy night. shit. So essentially, every week we've got... Two Holy shit. Night, this is so many extra steps, DSP. If you guys like one specific game, you can keep voting for the same game. Holy so fuck. This guy's a lunatic. A so we an actual tweaker. Other places with variety in there. You make my people look bad, DSP. The druggies. You feel like there's more variety in there. You make my variety for the chill streams at night an actual tweaker segment what do you think about that apparently zoya says my facial expressions and my mannerisms are completely different i'm not my normal self you're absolutely right ladies and gentlemen let me reveal who i really am The hell's he talking about? I have no idea what Zoya's talking about. He or she. What? I have no. I, actually, I don't know the gender of Zoya. I should not gender people who I don't know their gender. But uh, what? I don't DSP. Know what okay. <laughs> this is like when you're Listen. when you're doing stand up and you're massively bombing on stage. You you just like start saying random shit for months. I don't know who this guy is? I'm not gonna gender him. Okay. Oh my god! It seems like I have a lot of energy today. Yeah. It very well could be. Probably didn't drink last night. I was running around the kitchen killing ants. And oh yeah, that, shit, that, that gave you, you more know, energy. Caffeine hit me, but oh, the caffeine. You know what I'm saying? Like it's probably because my adrenaline got running a lot more than it usually does. That's what? probably what it is. Okay. You're chasing ants. It was an Ooh, adrenaline rush. The ants, man. The fucking ants. <laughs> okay. So this anyway, dude had nothing happening in his life. Week. Nothing okay. happening in his life to raise that his adrenaline. Not even a hand job from the um, dumbass week, cat. Ask the king returns. All right. Holy so for shit. those of you who are interested in getting your questions answered in a lengthy fashion on my stream, I do a Q&A show. Usually it's every two months, but in this case, we have been so... You do a Q&A show after every pre-stream DSP. That's this not a selling delayed point. And delayed and delayed and delayed. It's finally happening It's not how life works. On Thursday. I forget the date. Hold on. It is Thursday, the 21st of April. Fuck yeah. Okay, so a week from yesterday is Ask the King. Uh, how do you get your questions answered on Ask the King? Well, there's various ways. The best way would be to type exclamation point Ask the King into the stream chat right now. That brings up the link to my website, dspgaming.com. The command is so long. Question in the thread. Exclamation you point? The question in the ask thread, the that King. Gives you more time to review the questions, pick the best so one, long. and answer them intelligently on the show. Unlike when you ask me a question on the fly here on a stream, and sometimes I'll be like, ah, I don't Oh, it's know, unintelligently, like, okay. I think of good answers, and I try to give you entertaining and full-length answers on this show. That's the whole point of the show. It's terrible. Okay. The, the so, old ones are okay. Um, the old ones are okay. But uh, the, so, yes, the new uh, ones are terrible. Next week, all right? Now, another you way hear you them every day. Is the day the same of, thing. I usually post up on my Twitter, at they call me DSP, and I say, hey, okay. respond to this tweet with a question. But then you're going to get the, the not, the not actually, full I answer. I take live questions from the you always chat. take now usually that's a question, mess not but sometimes. now I'm doing the ultra low latency streaming so maybe I'll be able to take the questions more quickly and answer them better I don't know we'll see <clears throat> but I strongly recommend you post up your questions on the forums that's the best way to do it and in addition if you're someone who's watching this on demand you're like I can't type exclamation point ask the king all you gotta do is go to dspgaming.com go to the forums and under that main, the general area, there should be a section right there. This is Ask the King. You click there, you'll see the thread posted. And yes, the thread says March because the show originally was supposed to be actually in February, then March. They don't even get, get the, so the proper the name thread. for the thread. Okay. <laughs> the thread has okay. the wrong name. Awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> Holy fuck. You, you can't do right. one thing right. Not now, one thing can that, be right. One thing I actually want to do is I want to turn on my glitch now. Kind of and of course, we're gonna go. Jesus Christ. I wanna get some airflow. I don't have it. Hey, it's a tornado of souls. I saw about this. 
I saw that uh, that person that was running the profile passed away. I, I saw on Twitter, and I'm I'm sorry. I, I assume this is true because nobody would lie about something like this. And I would like to have a moment for this and not play anything. But please, you guys, throw a bunch of uh, prayer hands in chat. This this shit's gonna be on pause. It's not that important. And uh, rest in peace, Tornado of Souls. You were an appreciated member of the community, and I'm sorry that you're gone. And I wish that you would be around to have more fun with us. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off this music. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Okay, thanks everybody. This was a little bit more of a serious segment than we get usually, but it's a serious thing that happened, so... Now let's go to him fucking live. Uh, big ups Klaus for a super chat, I'm sorry I cut you off because it was bad timing. And uh, yeah, it says uh, he's going to, to say Disney Wars was good. I, I don't think he liked it, he gave it like a half-baked, trashy type of thing, type of review, and it was bad. Say? Um, oh yeah, I don't think you like right it. away while everyone else is competing against everyone else You get hundreds to sometimes thousands of votes and nominations the members get their own selection added like right away Okay So That being said, please consider becoming a channel member the other added bonus here is that if we hit 400 members this month I'm gonna do a special event where I go outside of my comfort zone and I do something I've never done the likes of before. Like I'm what? Oh no, the down the rabbit hole. It to sucks. down the rabbit hole dark side Phil, a video that was made about me over five years ago. That basically covers my early years as a content creator all the way through, I think it goes through like very early 2017. And essentially it, it, it covers the rise and fall of dark side Phil on YouTube as a content creator. You know, in 2017, I completely changed my attitude the and I changed and who I was as a content creator and became a live streamer. But essentially, that video is a fairly accurate history of me and on YouTube and, and the ups and downs and the, the, the foibles I had, uh, the mistakes I made. He's so scared you know, of a sequel. And he is really terrified of a like sequel. The video has over 6 million views on and YouTube. And I'm going to talk about it later, and, unless I forget. People have seen it. Oh, they're interested in my content. They've watched the video. King of Slander um, vs. Fred. Although, admittedly, in that uh, video... Fred's okay. not gonna say anything um, in, in response. He's perfectly okay with this. I like... feel I can either add to, <laughs> elaborate on, okay. or actually tell you the truth behind. Because I'm there's pretty a little sure bit not. of speculation and things in that video that are not true. Uh, actually, watching the video back in particular, there's things I can add about the Street Fighter community that's huge, that's not actually known or discussed in the video, um, among other things. It would definitely be really interesting because. I've never done anything like but, uh, that. Big ups for a super chat any, any negative video about me on the internet or whatever, I just kind of ignore. Which of I slander. Do. I'm not going to see here. You're as just well. going to say it, it's, it's going to be the like same old shit. 2017, basically. and I, when I became a full time streamer, I have changed both as a person and as a content creator. So yeah, many of those things that I that I did are mistakes of my past, and they should stay in the past, right? Which is why I said this is something completely different that I would never really do, but I feel like it would be something interesting, meaningful, and and, and notable. Okay. Notable. <laughs> when I announced this, it's on April 1st, word. people went nuts. They thought it was a great idea. No, people didn't yeah, go nuts. April 1st, we've only got about... Yeah, they didn't members. go nuts, and you didn't get a, a lot of new members. And there are people so in this chat that people. were admitting right. that they were using so, sock accounts to make new memberships. Okay. So no, it really didn't please. work. Oh, now we're at Consider please. a channel member. All right, please do. And uh, if you can... Please do, because I want. I actually really want to do this. I do. I want to do this. this. But the whole point. Of I want to do a reaction video. He was shitting on reaction videos for I'm over do ten years. Special thing outside of my normal comfort zone and take time away from my normal content creation and streaming. You know, it's got to be for uh, uh, the reason that we hit a milestone. It'll be a celebration. Oh, why is he bringing up so, the six million views to yeah, stroke funny, himself? No because it's six million. Yes, the perception about me has changed. Uh, no. Now it's actually ways. much worse. 
in one way, there's a bunch of nut jobs who literally have just gone off the deep end. Oh, the nut jobs, okay. Stupid, insane conspiracy theory. So they're never going to be swayed. The other direction is a bunch of people who are like, well, you know, the things that Phil used to not be liked for, he's basically he doesn't do anymore. And when you look at the nonsensical shit that the people say about him constantly, literally what? nothing to do with his content, nothing to do with anything. We literally have more proof nowadays like than direction. until Sadly, now. Way more people went in this. What are you talking about? Direction than this one. Nut job but direction. The truth is every day I see people come into the stream and say, you know, I used to listen to all the BS, but I came and I hang out with you on the stream today, and it's actually a good stream. I, I wonder how many of them are the same up, person. Because they do. So there you go. Oh my god, what's the most insane conspiracy theory about me? Young Thug, I couldn't even tell you at this point. Young story. Thug, so many, by the way. I forget them. I seriously... Yeah, yeah, I forget, I forget them, them. regularly. I forget There's what so people are talking shit about. about me that are just so insane. Um, Jeez, you know. Uh, 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 what, uh, let's see. I was, I was hiding money from the government and the IRS and, and even... Uh, yeah, this is kind of nonsense. I, hearing I was hoarding money in these accounts. No, these phantom accounts, no, no. Right? Hoarding so money, no. Evidence that there were phantom no, accounts no, 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 money in for, not, no. No, no, no. Nobody oh, thought DSP I, can no hoard money. DSP about? can't save right. money to to save oh, his God, life. Everyone knows about the stupid... Uh, uh, the escort bullshit, right? Okay, yeah, that's fake as fuck. Everyone knew that was the everybody on Kiwi Farms escort. disproved it. Escort that I was hiring to fly across the globe. I was spending all my money on an escort service. Yeah, that's what fake. Fuck you, and it wasn't even a that's troll that view. there was the, the, okay. the there was the escort. It's it wasn't even a head. troll. It this was just a random scammer. You know. Anyway, the th the thing is, like I said, with all these stories, what they do is they take something. And they base it on a snippet of fact. What was right? the so snippet of fact? Snippet what about the fact? escort, though? What was the fact there? Turn that into something that's a conspiracy that's insane. Oh, that he was right? flying cat. Yeah, that was. The but there's no fact. reason to even discuss them in length because they're all nonsense and it's just a waste of everyone's time. Every time I try to talk about it and, and rationalize or explain, it, it doesn't do any good. It just wastes time. So I'm just not even going to bother. Okay. Then let's go on to the next segment, which is called. Oh, there you go. Twitter news? Yeah. DSP has a kid. Cat is a ghost. Nobody said this. <laughs> nobody said this. That's a good I one. I mean, nobody said this seriously. Obviously, if you go on Kiwi Farms, it's a gossip forum. They're going to gossip about their favorite TV show. Um, of course, they're going to anyway, say they got a cat forever. and all this Not bullshit. The benefits, but also, you're leading towards the goal. We have half the month left to go to get 29 memberships. Like I told you guys at the beginning of the month, I'm just going to say it this way. All right. You guys asked me to try to come up with something completely different for a membership goal because the standard stuff that I've been doing, like, oh, let's do a viewer's choice event. Hey, big ups, uh, anything gaming for the like sub uh, membership I laid out you want something completely different. Big ups, enjoy your millions of benefits. Based on no your feedback for five chill. years. Big ups for five people. years, people asked me to react to that video and or give my opinion on it. That's exactly what I want to do. I'm literally uh, it's not relevant anymore. for five years. Okay. If this membership goal is not it's not relevant. Month, it's this simple. There's nothing I could do about it. I can't possibly do anything more. If your parents gave you the Wolverine figure five years after you asked for it, would you still want it? Outside of the norm or outside of my comfort zone that would make people want to become a member than what I've offered you this month. I can't do anything further than that. Uh, so legit? So nothing? Actively decides to oh, change it's the membership fault. system. Can you make a make custom video? Can you make a vlog? No, nope. I'm doing the limit of what I can do. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool with this? Um, Who's getting convinced I, I, by I'm this? I'm literally doing Who? something different that you guys wanted, and it still doesn't seem to be dramatically increasing the amount of members. And we've only got two weeks left. So just to forewarn everyone, if you want to really see this happen, this special event, something I've never done before, right? Please become a member as soon as possible. Let's make it happen. Hell, the sooner you, we hit it, the better. Seriously, the sooner we hit it, the sooner I could do it, right? Right? <laughs> Zen Shurik is just said we'll have no goals. No, it's not that we won't have goals. It's just it's that, that he's going to give up. To do about, I don't know what to do. Like, I would love to do another viewer's choice gameplay playthrough with you guys. Usually we're always doing one. And we haven't had one in a dramatically long time because the times that I said that as the monthly goal, we didn't hit it. I would love to do a special marathon. We just did one for, for my birthday, but I did it of my own accord because we didn't hit any monthly goals. So I just did one. You see? Um... I love doing this stuff. I do. What stuff? Um, uh, the extra I, I stuff? Love, I love the special events, but 
I can't make people become of course you would love doing it. You do it after you get money. A membership attractive. I love you know. spending my paycheck. Can I react to the Wings documentary? Well, here's the thing. No. First of all, the Wings of Redemption documentary is insanely lengthy. I okay. haven't watched it. I've actually I watched snippets of it. Did it come out? Kind of, like, you guys want to watch it? How he was covered versus how I was covered. Oh, um, this, oh no, this is the down the rabbit videos. hole. Yeah, and fuck that's that. Like, way I don't want a dude to explain to me what Call of Duty long, means. It covers, it, even though it covers his whole history, I guess it's kind of more recent. Wasn't Didn't that one come out in like two years ago? So it actually pretty much covers almost the entire history of Wings while mine goes to 2017 and then things that actually literally things completely changed for me in 2017. My oh life, yeah, my that's life. why you're scared of a part changed. two. You're scared of a sequel. Um. So uh, you, you, the, that video, if I were to watch it and react to it, here's the problem, okay? It's too long. It's two hours. And for me to react to it and everything, that would be longer than my normal stream. Okay. My usual stream it's a special stream. Long. There's no way I'm going to get through a two-hour video in three hours with me stopping and reacting and saying stuff about it. We'll never get through it. It would have to. It would literally have to be like a multiple episode event. It would have to be like part one, part two, where I watch it in 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 chunks and Bro, I react to it. Come on. Right. Um. Come on. But let me put it this way: that's definitely not anything we're doing first because. If there's a video about me, let me do the one about me first. And then if that, like I said, here's the thing what people don't understand. When I set this event up this month, I said, this is based on it being successful. And then we can do future things. So let's say, for example, we do this video. It ends up being good. It ends up, people like it. I, I you know, I enjoy doing he's, it. He's sweating so much to try and it's beg for members event. without actually now begging for members. Up. Right? He is sweating say, so much. Right, let's do it's future bait. That could be a consideration. No, this is like, never going to happen, Bay Pigs. I'm Not serious about this. Nudson, but I would talk to Wings of Redemption himself. Oh, yeah? I would say, are both of you guys okay with me doing something like that? Okay. that's the kind of guy I am. I'm not just going to fucking do it without permission, and I'm not going to do something like that. What? That permission? It it's a YouTube video. Streamer. I wouldn't want to do that without talking to Wings first. <laughs> what? Hey, man. I know that video is out there. I don't know how you reacted to it or if you, you know, how you feel about it. If like, my viewers want me to do this, is that okay with you? I would not do it. Bro, this guy is such a okay fucking joke. From two to, from both. It's like he needs to reach out to a third person company. It's like a company he's reaching out. Fucking at. doing that shit to me. What so, a fucking you know, retard. I wouldn't do that, but you know, I don't know. Like I said, it's, we gotta go step he's by step. He's sweating himself so if much. If successful this month, then we could in the future, Look to Man. Do stuff like that. Just yeah, promise crazier shit. Like promise like Project minute. 7. Like, shit, two hours. Like I said, we have to be like Project a 7, let's go. Of me doing this. Okay. Uh, I don't really All know right, why DSP was in, in Wings right, uh, DMs. I saw it, he was, but I don't know why. A couple super chats from Zoya. The Might have been all kind of shit. Hope support improves and we'll get the vest today. You know, that would be nice. Absolutely. Might have been somebody got banned off of somewhere and they were just cuz they're the two guys that always get banned eventually cuz they go all got trolls. Platinum it probably would not be any kind of a problem. And I guess best restrictions today. I'm not going to harp about it or anything but yeah, support would be great today if we could hit the full. I'm not going to harp about it. I'm going to keep that in mind as I not watch the rest of the stream. Okay. Um I'm going to watch the clips later so so make make sure you guys are clipping. It depends on the game. It depends on the stream. For example, all right. Whipping right now, the big 37 people on the stream. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. When the game starts, I found with Lego Star Wars, we get between eh, 200 to 300, and it fluctuates a lot. It goes up and down. Yeah, because okay? you're boring a lot. When I play Elden Ring, we usually got about 400 or more. When no. I play Street Fighter, we usually got around 200 to 300, depending. Uh, it really depends on, on the how game. how trolled it you get. It depends on the night. Um, but in general, stream viewers are in the hundreds. Now, the thing is... The people who are here to watch Lego Star Wars may not be here tonight to watch Street Fighter. That's a different group. The people that are here to watch Street Fighter may not be back tomorrow to watch Elden Ring. That's a different group. What you don't understand is the amount of unique viewers I get on a daily basis here on, on the channel is actually high. If you take a look, I think I get over a thousand unique viewers every day on my streams. Yeah, okay? no. no. None of over that works. Over a thousand people watch my streams every day. We've no, 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 no. You That's not that how right? life works. No. That's what it. You're no. what you're doing is you're looking at the base level of viewers on a particular stream. That's actually no, no, no. Keep thinking like that. You will always be on level one. By the way, 
keep thinking like that please do yourself a favor just for stream viewers i will urge this to those of you who w listen to and watch this podcast on demand memberships okay? are worthless memberships to people who are you. not viewers you still when you leave a, a comment on viewers. any video you are highlighted okay that's they cool. are worthless you'll still get the priority access to all kinds of special events like i've, I've outlined you know i agree with you yeah Basically, getting access to emotes, you probably won't care that much about that if you're not a live chatter or a live streamer chatter. Uh, big up shout out to, to yeah, my subs and everybody watching because I, I looked at some analytics yesterday and it said over 65% of people watching are sub, which is great. Because I know this is the meme that usually YouTubers are complaining about. Look, it's only 30%. Go subscribe. And I'm very satisfied with the numbers that I see. So big ups, everybody. And that's the way to go. It helps a ton. That's the way to go. It helps okay. a ton. All right. So let's get Zoya up there. <clears throat> and then let's get to the tip side of things. The tip side, Phil. How much you got okay. today? Like 20? The other funny part of what Zoya is saying is, what is on the funny Twitch, part? when I streamed on Twitch, my views were about the same too. When I, Last year, all right, when I left Twitch, on average, my streams had between, I'd say, 300 to 400 viewers. Um, it depended on the game. Definitely when I played an RPG okay. or a slower chill stream. So you've literally not grown at all? There I had 900 plus subs. And some people would say, well, that's because they were gifted. Okay, you might be right, but that's not all. Like, there were definitely legitimately five to 600 people paying for their sub every month. And then every month, there'd be a few hundred gifted. So we, the a few thing hundred is, is gifted. That is quite a bit, if you ask me. A few My hundred really gifted. Much more value than what I'm doing. Maybe not I'm a really lot if you take them for granted, but. To do special stuff. Okay. All right. Um, tip side of things. Our first tip today is from Tarantula. Tip MSH, side of things. Who tipped ten dollars? Says, "Hey, Phil, what's going on?" Yeah, Tarantula? Zoya is not a new member. Welcome. Thank you for the support. Yeah, Tony T. I do like uh, MF Doom. That's why all the songs in the background is actually okay, Doom beats. First tip of the day. MF Doom beats. Listen to this, dude. Next tip is from the Bender Eater. Which is the dollar fifty. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna get claimed Wars right away. Did you pick and why? You know, it's funny because. A lot of people will be like, oh, I want to be like an ultra powerful Sith character, right? Okay. But then when you actually look at them, like most of them are fucked up, right? But they're deformed, they're fucked up, their bodies are, are they have terrible backstories, a horrible pain, which is why they became Sith to begin with. Like, I don't know. If you want to be a Sith, I don't know. Um, And you're like, oh, dude, Han Solo's the, just the coolest dude. He's he's suave, right? And he, uh, you know, he's the cool, the cool guy, the guy you want to be like. But look at his life. He's a bounty hunter. He's a fucking runs cargo. He's constantly... He's not a bounty hunter, excuse me. He's a cargo runner is what I meant to say. He constantly runs cargo and he's in trouble. People are chasing him. He's under arrest. People are trying to kill him, trying to blow up his fucking ship. He has... His partner is a stinky wookie. Okay, that was uncalled for. I shouldn't have insulted uh, how how Chewbacca smells. It's not his fault. That my hair Bro, DSP, you like... Anyway, what? I don't know if I would be anyone. I don't know if I want to be anyone at all. I, the Star Wars universe is horrifying. Who the fuck? I want to be the scruffy nerf herder. I want to be the one who fucking just sits there on the planet safe, hurting sh sheep all day. Leave of me course. alone. And getting there tips for it. <laughs> They're going to give you tips for uh, hurting Hansel the Kamaru sheep. tipped a dollar fifty. It says, heads up for Kingdom Hearts 4. Don't expect Oh, I hate the, the fake fan segments, ones. man. You got. You don't have to be a fan of everything. Union X. It has ridiculously deep and but, complex... But when you don't have any identity, you want any kind of identity. So he's latching onto anything. Gamer, fighting game player, Italian, Star Wars fan, movie buff. All these things he called himself and has nothing to show for. Why even play it? You're not going to know what's going on. The gameplay is probably going to suck hard. And they're talking you know, about a random game. Graphics. You're not missing anything. Like, oh, pretty graphics. What the fuck is this game? I don't even know what's happening. Nico has done a dollar fifty tips. Says people also forget on Twitch you can be a member with Prime. Way more people did it because it was practically free. You're absolutely right. If you already had Amazon Prime, you could give a free membership. And I even said, what is holding back YouTube from doing something like you become a channel, a, a, a YouTube? Is it YouTube Prime? Whatever the premium YouTube, YouTube subscription premium. is, where you can pay a flat fee a month and you get no ads on YouTube. Yes. Now imagine you get ad you block get no and you get on. YouTube you get vans. Free membership, just like you got with Amazon Prime. Who wouldn't do that? I don't have to watch ads and I could support my favorite content creator on YouTube for a Holy flat fee fuck. each month. Sounds good to me. It's not a bad right? idea, but I still wouldn't spend it on DSP. But they don't do it. The opportunities for YouTube are literally sitting there 
right in front of their face. He's it's so right mad. There. There's like a bowl of money sitting in front of their face, a bowl of cash. And they just look at it like this and they go, oh, what's TikTok doing over there? Uh, we gotta... Uh, advanced no they're not coming there back but there. so far it's that, still man. working but what about it's just there's the not gonna be any it, further man. support look at that sparkly shiny over i there. guess if you have it now it works it. this is an, an so alien segment he's so fucking bizarre with streaming yeah you, you have so many opportunities you failed every single one right now but they'd rather look over there and try to copy tiktok Mm -hmm. for some odd reason. So they should copy like Twitch, a, a company that, to that his own words, is garbage. Their customer base, they really they don't. Would rather, instead they of... would rather copy garbage, according to him. They should copy garbage instead of the actual most hyped platform, which is TikTok. Like it or not, it is. Trying to focus on making the existing installed base they have more profitable. Yes. They're trying to attract so fo yet another focus on on-demand videos. To come to the site for a completely different reason. Huh? That would be like okay. What about the people from Twitch? This? Let's see. I talked about this how, a bajillion things. You a go to a movie times. theater to see a movie, all right? And while you're there, you're also spending a lot of money on the concessions, right? So instead of improving the movie experience or the concessions to make more money on what you're already good at, they've decided to add a third part to the movie experience where you you get clothing. Who goes to the movie theater? Bro, to buy this clothing? is a, a no shitty one. ass analogy. We get it. We get it, but it sucks. You don't also buy a winter coat that you put on when you wear when you watch the movie. That's what YouTube wants to do. They want to keep adding hey, shit. Take care, uh, Tornado of Souls. Thanks for being around. Thanks for letting us know what happened. And uh, you know, I'm sorry what happened. I'm gonna see you around. On that they probably not. But yeah, you, you know, want to get good at and bring in more customers and people outside of what they're good at. It doesn't make sense. Just focus on what you're good at and make that the best, most streamlined product. Why don't you do that for everyone involved instead of half assing it? That's literally Bruh. what YouTube does. They half ass stuff and then they never like refine or finish it and they move on to something else. It's like they have ADD. They're all over the place. I just never it never it never made sense to me why they do that. And then they promise things. They don't follow through on them. <clears throat> oh, right, this guys. guy. So this that is the, the last podcast. Let's this is the last guy you should ask for fucking for for this shit. This is the last guy you should ask for business advice. A guy kicked out of every fucking place. He he had a business on. A guy who even nowadays he can't do anything like actually meaningful and and productive with the shit he's got, and he got so much constantly, constantly. Okay, now what is the future of the stream? I said something about, uh, fuck, man. Oh, yeah, the thing. Let me see. There was this uh, clip. I think it was Hate Army Watch, not a hater. Yo. I think it was about uh, DSP being scared of Down the Rabbit Hole Part 2. Let's listen to this a little bit. And then I'll tell you why if it's not in the video. Sadly, we don't have a single tip yet. Oh, no. None. So sad. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. The big goose egg. So I have nothing to shout out there. Frederick Knudsen is making a more up-to-date video on me. No, he's uh, not. I spoke to him personally. He's not. Okay. Behind the scenes. And he told me he is not interested in drama videos moving forward. He likes doing more structured documentary style content. That's not drama videos, DSP. I'm sure he didn't tell you this. That's not a drama video. And that, um... Uh, basically, he, he's... He is so terrified. Terrified. Because it's one thing having people like me and other people that their whole channels are dedicated to debunking and talking shit to DSP. But having somebody who's a third party attracting eyes on DSP in a negative way from the things that have happened from 2017 onward, that's gonna fucking destroy him. Because, you know, me and other people, we're known for quote-unquote the obsessed idiots or whatever. Whatever. Some, some dumb shit. 
but uh, Fred, he is the the third party guy. Very proud of the It's going to be more factual, you know what I mean? The last few works that he's done. Because I lie all the time. I just sit here and I'm lying. And that he wants to keep focusing on that. I don't know who you're talking to, but that's what he told me about a month ago when I spoke with him about the possibility of doing commentary on his video. Maybe he changed his mind, which he's free to do. The, here's the difference, though. Okay, here's the difference between the previous video he made and anything that he'll be making moving forward. And I don't know, again, I don't know if this is true or not. It could be bullshit, all right? Everything that was made in that original Down the Rabbit Hole video was mostly based on fact. Most of the things in that video were public fact. Things what was made publicly, up, though? Things I said publicly, data that's right there in front of you that you can actually pull and, and say, here it is, here's the data, right? Most of the bullshit, and I'm gonna say that too, bullshit <laughs> that's been said about me in the last five plus years is bullshit. It's speculation. It's a nonsense. It's stuff that people literally fabricated, made up, or they took a piece of fact, a piece of fact, and then used that to extrapolate monstrously with conspiracy. All right, this is like, all right, without not even one example, not even one example, this is looking way less believable than all the, the people that twist the bullshit into narratives theory and uncorroborated speculation to create yeah the the break after the pre-stream is back that's a new thing now i told you before it was gone i told you it existed and then it was gone and remember it was a thing hey you guys i'm not taking a break after pre-stream you see people don't don't go away the view count stays high and we get right into gameplay and now it's just the uh, i don't know let's go on a break you guys <laughs> create these giant clouds of bullshit that aren't true. But what happened in the last five years is that people realized, oh shit, we don't even have to talk about real stuff about Phil. People believe anything. So we can literally say anything we fucking want no. and get away with it because no. there's no protections no. on no. YouTube. No, 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 because there are people who say literally anything and they have no credibility and nobody fucking looks their way. And they're known for those people that don't really say a lot of credible stuff, okay? Sounds good. For that? Because it's like, even even though I do want to believe crazy shit about DSP, because it makes my, the entertainment value that I get from his fucking reality show trailer trash lifestyle, it makes it better, right? I, I, I want to believe as many wild things about him as possible. But I would like to believe the reasonable fucking things that have some proof in him. Like the champion stuff that has plenty of proof in them. Or the fucking bank leak stuff that has more than plenty of proof in them. So yeah, those by themselves are crazy enough to give me the rewarding experience of, of watching the reality trailer trash dumpster fire TV show. So we can literally just... Because yeah, there are a lot of people speculating that Cat left him and is gonna sue him and get his money and he's gonna go in the street. But that's most probably not going to happen. And that's not really a narrative that's going around. There's just people speculating if that's possible and when that could happen. Because that's what happens with TV shows. Never watched a TV show, never been on Reddit, never been on Tumblr to see how they discuss TV shows. It's exactly what happened. When is this character going to go next? What is he going to do next? Who is going to be in a love relationship next? Who's going to die next? Who's going to get voted off the island next? Who's gonna get sent to space next? Who's gonna get eaten by the zombie next? Say Every single show is this, except his show is fucking real. And that's completely his fucking fault. Cause he made an empire of thousands of thousands of terrible vlogs exposing his whole fucking life. And that's his fucking fault. Hey, and do whatever we want about Phil, okay? So here's the difference. The previous Down the Rabbit Hole video, which I've watched in full, Okay. Mostly factual. There's a few things in there that I feel that I can actually clarify and make bring a lot of light to and or supplemental information to kind of more fully explain a situation that happened. I'm not going to say that that those things are justifiably good that I did. What I'm going to say is here's the mindset I was going through at the time. Here's the dumb things that happened that I shouldn't have done. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So 
that's the deal with that and but anything else like anything from the last several years it's basically hack work anything because there's no the factual basis for the stuff it's a bunch of bullshit there is factual basis and you providing zero factual basis is making our one percent factual basis more factual facts and so and basis oh so, if someone like like him at least now again i don't know if anyone's actually talked to him or not all i know is what i know from talking Bro, why are you talking about him like he's fucking president obama or something the dude just made a video on the internet why are we talking about fred like he's fucking steven spielsberg steven spielsberg <laughs> about a month ago where he's nothing said against fred it's just like this dude is name dropping him and he usually doesn't name drop anybody and he can't get fred's name out of his fucking mouth Bad, I texted Fred. Bad, I was, I keep in touch with Fred. Bad, I, uh, I hear Fred, the guy who made down the rabbit hole. It's a really good video. Fred, yeah, Fred, Fred, and Fred, and Fred, and he gave me permission. And I could talk publicly about what we talked about. He even gave me permission. He said, yeah, he you see? publicly talk about our conversation <laughs> here. Okay. He said he is not interested in doing any more drama yeah. style content. That basically drama I style content. Okay. It's that wings video he did <laughs> wings of redemption was the last. I mean, I, I, of course, naturally I get it. Even if he wasn't going for drama, which he's not because Fred is not a, a drama fueled guy. He's just curious and interested in stuff. Uh, that's why he read the whole channel awesome thing. That's why he's done his down the rabbit hole stuff. Dude is just curious. But uh, I can't deny this. A lot of people see this and then go and explore lol cows. And then get into the vortex or go look around for uh, wings and stuff like that. So he is a gateway to stuff, to drama stuff. He's a drama gateway. So yeah, but, but his stuff inherently really isn't meant to fuel drama or be dramatic last one where he got that's why it's so tame and it's so like it's not really uh dramatic you know he did it and after that he's like i want to move on and be a serious you know documentarian and here's the stuff i'm putting out and he actually pushed me towards watching some of his other stuff and i actually watched um not all of but part of his his history of deep blue the computer not all of if he said he watched all of it then somebody in channel will be like dsp you say you don't have time to spend with your family what are you doing watching youtube videos that they're like two hours long played chess and it was fascinating i was actually really thinking that it was fun that was really well researched and, and entertaining and, and informative i was like this guy could actually have a really good future as a documentarian um it's just a shame that the things that get the most views are drama shit on youtube you know what i mean so anyway, um, I don't know. Like I said, it's almost like shit that is fun get more views that than shit that is educational but not very entertaining. Because down the rabbit hole video is not very entertaining. It is educational. It's interesting. It's a di deep dive, but entertainment value is not what I look for. It. That guy seemed very. I would much rather watch the Beggar's Journey. At least that's entertaining. Well ahead and and you know seemed like a good guy to me. Maybe he lied and he's going to do drama con. I don't know. I haven't heard that. I talked to him and that's what he told me. And that's why I said, hey, I'd definitely be willing to watch that down the rabbit hole video because it's actually mostly factually true. And or I can clarify some of the things that maybe are not 100%. Oh, yeah. And he true. said that Fred has a future on YouTube. Despite Fred's future being infinitely more bright than DSP's any kind of existence on YouTube. With, with and, uh, No, DSP is not going to watch uh, Beggar Journey because... It's uh, it's biased, obviously. Operating. It's biased, and it, the bias is what makes it fun. Because at some points, X Mortar just calls him a retard and a fucking idiot and some other stuff. So yeah, that's that's what makes it fun. Explanation. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Yeah. That's that's what you get. Yeah, but he's terrified, like I told you, of somebody who is known to be fair. And not somebody like me who's just like shitting on fucking DSP because I shit on DSP and that's what my whole channel is about. Uh, he is scared of somebody like Fred who's gonna do an extensive thing and be like, dude, how did you like fucking get away with all these scams and the Jasper scam and this and this and this is a little bit questionable. It's like when, uh, when LSB and Proper went to, to Rikita Law. 
LSB proper Ricky uh, DSP. I'll, I think I'll find it out like this. Yeah, this is the lore stream. And then Null it was talking to DSP about the bankruptcy documents. I haven't. I I watched this one when it came out. I was binging this, binging this, two and a half hours. And and then the Tevin video uh, dropped. Hold on. Can't even see what I'm flexing about, huh? Yeah, this was amazing. Uh, but this was way before uh, I started doing shit. So I didn't really talk about it. When when the initial bankruptcy call dropped. Then Tevin had a stream about it. Banger. Everybody who talked about it. Banger. Everything posted about it on Kiwi Farms. Banger. Classic. <laughs> Alright, now... Uh... Oh yeah, let's recap the stream. This is gonna be a shorter stream. And again, I'm gonna open up uh, FL Studio. Let's make some beats. Let's work on the Depression song. But I'm gonna go soon-ish. So yeah, let's recap. We're starting off. I instantly started the stream. No intro, no songs, no nothing. DSP was late. Because he was fighting an ant infestation. Then we jumped to discussing ants and spiders for the next 20 minutes. Then we beg, then there's no really news in the news, and that's basically it. It's it's not really anything, uh, anything, anything, okay? Today's stream was a filler episode. Hopefully, he's gonna survive the ants, he's not, not gonna die. Oh yeah, he was gonna spray with anti-ant spray, with bug spray, essentially, outside of his house after his day off. Because he can't go and buy bug spray before his day off. Because that's how life works. And uh, yeah, let me go try and get that, that song up open. So we can see what an idea of uh, making a song on stream segment would, would be like. Because uh, I've told you before, it's going to be terrible and it's going to be really boring. But I just wanted to show you exactly how boring it would be. Because it would be very boring. Because it's one thing listening to the song, and it's a very different thing listening to every single sample that needs to be processed, and it's not very interesting. But uh, you're gonna decide for yourself. Alright, we pop up FL Studio, phenomenal. Let's use only the usable places. Alright. That's it, let's get started. This is gonna take around 10-15 minutes. Let's go through the song, analyze the song, uh, micro-analyze everything, and that's gonna be it. All right, uh, now, first thing you're gonna see is a bajillion tracks. I don't know if this open up here. Uh, okay, uh, you're gonna see a bajillion tracks. That's why I don't, that's because I don't keep my tracks in order. Effectively, there would be like five or six. Let's look at the mixer. This again is a mess. Because it's like it's DSP songs, dude. It's not real songs. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten tracks that have been linked. I think there are ten in total. Let's say and let's get it started. What is the song about? A very depressive song. This one's for all my baby girls. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was the line of progression. You. Yes. You. Bitch. That was the line of progression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was the line of progression. That was the line of progression. Me. Free. First, we're going to give it a quick listen. I sold Jasper into slavery. Uh, a real quick initial listen first, and then I'm going to see what else is to be done. That was my impression. Free. I sold Jasper into slavery. That was my impression. You. Yes, you. That was my impression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was my impression. That was my That's pretty nice. Me. Free. 
That's pretty nice. All right, uh, let's start tra track by track. Now, here's the vocals, right? Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. All right, now this has been uh, put into the tempo of the drums, more or less. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was my impression. Then we have, uh, that was my depression. It's a little bit pitch shifted, I think. Right, this this part, it's it's this one. That was my impression. Then we get a U, yes, U. I, I still don't know what to fit in here, because uh, the pattern, I think, of the chorus, now this whole thing is the chorus here, right? The pattern starts with something shitty that he's done, and then that was my depression, right? Out there, get dress out bitch. and work, bitch. Then we got a, that, that was, was my, my depression. depression. And then we got another thing. I don't know if the USU necessarily fits into the pattern of of, of that kind of an idea. Because then we get, after this, that we get a, my, my depression. depression. What is here, though? There's a muted track. What is he that saying? My depression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. Oh, this is perfect. I love this. People are lazy. I need to put this in the song. This uh, This stays. So first, the first offense is get out there and work, bitch. That was my depression. Then we get, I don't know what to put here. Maybe chat if you know something. Uh, the lunch meat sandwiches, maybe, yeah. Uh, I, I probably not gonna end up doing that, but all the, the feedback I'll try and remember. Uh, I did nothing wrong. That, that's also not a bad one. Fucking lazy. Oh, I have your name and your address. Fuck. That's what I'm gonna put. I have your name and I have your address. And then I, that was my depression. Uh, let's see if I could do that right now. But right now it's gonna be way too slow. You, you're not even gonna see any of it. Okay. Fucking then we got people are fucking lazy. That was my depression. And here I made it, I pitch shifted it so it kind of, um, it harmonizes. That was my depression. That was my depression. That, that's by itself. That was my that was and that's the, the, the harmony track. So this is basically the chorus. Let's put everything on and start from the beginning. Hold on, what's with the slaver? Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was my impression. You, yes, you. Oh yeah, and the, the, the one with slapping the kid. The, the slapping the kid. I'm going to put this one. Let me open a notepad because there's some good ones. Uh, and also, uh, if you want to help out with future songs on the Discord, which I'm going to post for a uh, link in chat, on the Discord, there's a special new room that is uh, specifically for just making songs. And uh, then you can go and... Just say what you think and make a good song, and maybe we can make a good song together. Of course, people that suggest stuff, their name's gonna be in the description or whatever type of thing. Alright, now. Uh, let me open up Notepad. We're writing a uh, bitch of a kid. This is the first one I want. What was the second one? Lunch meat sandwich? Uh, probably not. I have your name and address. Yes, because I want to have as much dirty laundry possible in this. Oh yeah, maybe the I'm coming for you thing. Maybe that one. Even though I, I use that in a different song, it doesn't really matter. Coming for you. Let's let the song roll in the background. Let's see, maybe I can even clip them right now instead of just writing them down. This one's for all my baby girls. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was yeah, it's probably gonna work. You, yes, you, bitch. That was my impression. Oh no, the lazy. Uh, racist stuff I'm not gonna put in. Because with the racist stuff, uh, it kind of feels like a Liquid Richard song where I'm a white guy and I have to go through every single sample of him saying the N word and, and I have to like add the effects to it, and it, it just feels racist. Just feels racist. Okay, now I'm gonna go and 
find it on YouTube, the clips, and I'll try and fit them live. Okay. Let's see, the, the one with the name and address, I think, was B Awesome One. Fucking work, bitch. That was my impression. You. Yes, you. Bitch. That was my impression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was my impression. That was my impression. Me. Free. I Ching Chang Charlie Chan. I sold Jasper into slavery. Me. Oh yeah, and the, the fuck you and your mother, I have this one. I actually have this one. So I can go and hopefully find it. And I can put it in real time. What is this? Uh, it was on the soundboard. Fuck the trolls. Fun, chill, interactive. Okay, let's let's run this. And then for the verse, I gotta think about uh, what I can put at the verse. That was my impression. You, yes, you, bitch. That was my impression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was my impression. That was my impression. Me, free. I Ching Chang Charlie Chan. I sold Jasper into slavery. Uh, which tab is for the songs on Discord? It's called uh, it's called Snortwave Records. Is where what is called? Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a long one. Okay. Uh, what do I want the verse to be about? Now, now it has some sample about Chicky Chan, Charlie Chan. Listen to this. I Chicky Chan, Charlie Chan. I sold Jasper into slavery. <laughs> Hey, big ups, come back, Josh. I'll see you around, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I don't think I have the fuck you and your mother, which is very confusing. Probably in a different folder. I sold Jasper into slavery. That was my impression. work bitch that was my depression you yes you bitch. that was, was my depression people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams that was my depression that was my depression me free i chicky chang charlie chan i sold jasper into slavery Uh, I can make the I can put the one where it says if I see tot 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 it's gonna be ban ban ban. You this one I could find people are fucking lazy and don't wanna come out to the streams. That was my impression. That was my impression. Me Oh this one I'm gonna put okay okay I I got a monologue ready. We got a monologue, but I think I, I gotta listen through the whole thing first. Let's let's see what I got. This one is called DSP Gaming Depression and Suicide. So this is gonna be fun. Shout out to Sky Sand or Shady Sands98 who did a hundred bit cheer and says, Have you ever considered suicide? I'm not taking the piss, I'm just gutted about Chester Bennington. For those who don't know, he was the lead singer of Lincoln Park who just committed suicide. Chester. Um I don't want anyone else I've followed going anywhere. I know things are tough for you now. Dude I'm not considering suicide. What are you talking about? You know, oh, yeah, the lame it. brain pieces of shit. I'm going to write this down as well. Lame brain pieces of dumb. 
fucking shit. This was a very, like, overkill insult. You lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit. There was so much to it, man. Like, very sophisticated. Oh, what else? I don't know where I put him. Let's listen to some more songs. Shout out to Sky Sea. Oh, no, let's listen to this, this rant. When I was much younger, before YouTube. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. When you have depression, it never goes away. Every once in a while, it might come back. But no, I'm not anywhere in a bad situation like that. It's kind of a ridiculous question. I'm pretty sure you would know. I would be pretty much down in the dumps. Um, Thanks for your money. Fuck for you. Like that. No, oh, I, yeah, I, this I, one. I like this a one. Situation like that. You don't have to worry I like about that this one. Um, on one from Discord, big ups to Buster. Who did bit I'm gonna put Thank you for one. answering my question. I wasn't trying to be a cock. All right. All right, let's see where this one is going to fit. Now, the newest sample is this. Oops. Thanks. Why doesn't the jump, dude? Oh, okay. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Thanks for your money. Fuck you is the new one. <laughs> this this song is gonna be super aggressive, man. The the worst fucking the most toxic song. Uh, stupid bastard, mind your own business. Uh, I can check this one. I can check this one out later. I have a, a list of the ones that I definitely will use, which is the one with the bitch of a kid. I have your name and address. I'm coming for you and the lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit. I'm definitely gonna use that one. No, I'm not following you. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was my impression. Thanks for your you. money. Yes, Fuck you, you, bitch. Uh, I think I can make the, during the chorus, for example, the verse, I mean. Let's say we put the thanks for the money at the verse and I take the yes you and i copy this and we can make it sound like he's saying thanks for the money fuck you you yes you so let's see if i can make that happen uh right now i can't see chat i'm all tabbing from point to point so sorry if i'm if i'm slow uh yeah i'm gonna cut up the the dead air in between it it's gonna be all right all right let's start from here you okay this already synced This, now I'm gonna do the, the quickest way of trimming this shit is with the slice tool. I'm gonna slice it when it starts. Slice this. Maybe, no. It's alright. Okay. Thanks for your money. Uh, let's see if I can make money be more on beat. Thanks for your money. Eh. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Your money. Nah, I'll get this little double thing. Let's see if I can maybe stretch it. Spread that shit. That's way too much. Okay. Fuck you. Thanks for your money. Oh, nice. Thanks for your money. Thanks for your money. Fuck, Fuck you. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Okay, let it start here. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, something like that. Uh, what software is this? This is uh, FL Studio 20. Thanks for your money. Thanks for your money. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Yes, you. Uh, yeah, I want to do yes, you. That's the only thing that I want. I get out of the Thanks pressure. for your money. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Here. Here. Yes. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Oh yeah, this is nice. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Yes, you. <laughs> it's so fucking nasty. This is being such an asshole. Okay, now let's put it to the effects track, which because I am super unprofessional, I got one. So yeah. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Yes, you! And here, where's the other you? I deleted it. Where is it? I deleted it. Now I need to go back, I guess. Go back in time. I think it's this one. That was 
Okay, okay, I think I went way too far. Gotta do a redo. There's no redos. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Yes, you. You. <laughs> How many times is he gonna say you? Wow. Well, uh, I don't know. No, I think this is just Thanks not, not suitable. Now, this is half of the verse. Okay, now... <laughs> And it's not even finished, so it's basically a quarter of the Thanks verse that is done. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Yes, yes, you. I sold Jasper in a slavery. Now, I'm going to put this one here. And I, I'm going to put a uh, sold Jasper in a slavery. I love that. It's great. Thanks for your money. Fuck you. Yes, you. I sold Jasper in a slavery. That was my <laughs> I sold Jasper in a slavery. Uh, Thanks for your money. Fuck, fuck you. you. Yes, yes, you. I sold Jasper in a slavery. <laughs> I sold Jasper in a slavery. <laughs> that was my depression. This doesn't exist though. This um this is a copy pasted chorus. So this is going to ban world for now. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. Okay. That was my impression. You. Yes, you. Bitch. That was my impression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was my impression. That was my impression. Me. Me. I Ching Chang Charlie Chan. I don't even know if the the Ching Chang Charlie Chan is is fitting. For your money. You. Yes, you. I sold Jasper into slavery. That was <laughs> and I have the the I, I have this snort, which is phenomenal. Let's put it on on repeat. With with reverb and like crystallize the echo. Amazing. All right. Uh. I guess, okay, let's do the beginning, and that's going to be the only thing I'm going to do tonight. Now, the beginning of all the songs is usually some setup for the chorus, some setup for the premise as well. So, in this case, we have him talking about depression and suicide, which is perfect. Perfect. Let's hear some samples from this. For me to be like that, no, I'm not in any kind of a situation like that. You don't have to worry about that shit. Um... Thank you to Shady Sands 89 who did a 100-bit cheer and says, thank you for answering my question. I wasn't trying to be a cock. I didn't think you were, but you got to understand when you ask to be a questions cat. like that in public, a lot of people get freaked out. Like, oh my God, you mentioned suicide in public. It's like, oh, it's taboo, right? Suicide in <clears throat> public. And let's face it, um, I've never really talked about that. Oh, yo, wait, wait, wait. Um, in, uh, as, I as I'm looking in Discord, there's, there's new sounds. What is this one? I groomed two fangirls and used them for sex and extra money. Fuck yeah, that was my depression. <laughs> Big ups to uh, who sent this to Hate Army Watch in in Discord. <laughs> this is fucking brilliant. I groomed two girls and used them for sex and money. That was my depression. Can't do nothing about it. it wasn't even me. I was a different person back then. Uh, okay, now let's I guess remove this. I don't know why I can't drag and drop it. Oh, because it's a because it's a. Thing. I need to audio record it. Okay. A moment of quiet and I will. Hey. I groomed two fangirls and used them for sex and extra money. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Works. Ack, ack, ack. All right. Let me just export in. Uh... And girls. Let's listen to the song some more because it was a little bit dead air. PA who did a hundred bit cheer and says, Have you ever considered suicide? I'm not taking the piss, I'm just gutted about Chester Bennington. For those who don't know, he was the lead singer of Linkin Park who just committed suicide. Um, 
I don't want anyone else I follow going this anywhere. I know things are tough for you, dude. Get your ass out there, and fucking work, bitch. Oh, dude, this was so good. Cause he cut off on dude, and then it said, "Get your ass off and and go work, bitch." I love this. Sometimes it just fits. Hold on. Baby. Tough for you, now, dude. <laughs> but this is, I mean, this is not good enough, but it, it is kind of funny. Hold on. Uh... Tough for you now, dude. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was the right. <laughs> Let's cure the whole thing again. Shout out to Sky Sand or Shady Sands 98 who did 100 bit cheer and says, Have you ever considered suicide? I'm not taking the piss. I'm just gutted about Chester Bennington. For those who don't know, he was the lead singer of Linkin Park who just committed suicide. Um, I don't want anyone else I follow going wrong, anywhere. I know things are tough for you now. Dude, get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was the right impression. You. Yes. You. Bitch. That was the right impression. People are fucking like. Hold on, the fangirls one that needs to go in. How is this gonna sound here? For example, let's say I remove the depression. I groomed two fangirls and used them for sex and extra money. That was my depression. Me. Me. <laughs> this is gonna be on one of the variations of the chorus. Now, the first chorus is gonna be this whole thing. I'm gonna mark it. This whole thing. And it's gonna sound like this. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. That was the right impression. You. Yes. You. Bitch. That was the right impression. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was the right impression. Me. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. All right. So, and the fangirls is gonna be one of the variations for this. Uh, and yeah, the, the openness is also good. I like it that there is actually some time for the, the beat to be heard. And it's not just DSP over and, and over again. Because when I look at it, let's mark the ones. Uh, this one is DSP. This here, all of this is DSP talking, including this, this bottom line. And of course, in, in the bottom with the depression one. So the only times when you can actually hear the beat is here in between. And like little cuts. So if if the chorus repeats, let's say this is one of the versions, the other one is gonna be without these. Uh or without like a little bit more. Get your ass out there and fucking let's work. See bitch. how this uh sounds. That was the right impression. You yes, you bitch. People are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. That was my impression. Me. All right. Yeah, it's uh making some work. And that's going to be enough for now, though. I think you got plenty of a good look how, how songs like this exist. And eventually, maybe I'm going to make this and work on this more on stream or maybe not. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someday I'm just going to sit down and finish it and I'm going to be published. And that's just how life is going to work. But for now, thanks everybody for showing up. Not going to play any music, because why not? I don't know. I didn't play any music when I started. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks everybody watching. I appreciate you. Big ups. Uh, thanks for stopping by, for watching the pre-stream podcast together. And that's it. I'm going to be back next time. And you're hopefully going to be back. And if you're not, then... Uh, I don't know. Go outside and fucking work, bitch. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. All right. See you around. Bye.